What's up, chat? <laughs> it's time to hack. A new cool kind of immersive simulator roguelike came out a little bit ago, and I guess I whiffed it, but it's here now for me to play. And I'm going to. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. I'm surprised I missed it by so much because it's definitely the kind of game that I think is an interesting one for stream. You can literally slow down time using implants and then pull out your laptop and hack people's bullets. Manually using the text box. They have in they have unique IDs. You have to type them in quickly as the bullets slowly pass their way towards you. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty epic. Just like real hacking. All bullets have small little computers in them that you can use to get on in there. I'd actually, what I would say this game is, it feels like Streets of Rogue mixed with hacking. Mixed with a much more in-depth hacking system is what it feels like. I have, yes, you can hack the toilets. It's like kind of like, yeah, it's like Streets of Watchdogs, exactly. Exactly. Also, Tomato Streamer, the crazy batshit text on the stream announcements in the Discord are really funny every time. Thank you for those. Of course, no problem, no problem. No problem. Those are just the titles. <laughs> they're, just the, they're just the titles of the stream. Dude. You're gonna- you may see a, like, tier list circulating around over the next couple days from a, uh, from a guy I know. I just want to let you guys all know uh, that it is definitely- it was all an elaborate ruse to get me to play a game with him on stream. I was doing a gamer tier list, and the second I showed my face in that fucking chat, he rated me at the dead middle, and after- even after multiple friends all being like, Nah, dude. He should probably be at least one higher. He's been like, he's gonna have to get in a game with me. <laughs> he's like... He's gonna have to get in there with me. <laughs> and I'm like, dude... <laughs> you, if you wanted to play a game with me, man, you could just ask. It's okay. I'd love to play something with Joe. <laughs> He, I, he finally bumped me up. Yeah, but it's the fucking fact. It's the fact that it, that he, he, I'm fine being anywhere if it was the collective thing. But if he's going to look at the goofs in chat going, he sucks. And then like all of my friends go, nah, dude. <laughs> Even the people in the rankings are like, nah, dude, he should be higher. I just want some consistency, you know? I had to get vouched for by thousands, all right? People are out there sobbing on the streets because they know I'm at least a known gamer. At least. I'm not out here saying I'm a god, but I know I'm known. I know I'm known. The people know. I'm not gonna push for farther than that. I don't really, I just know I'm not a normal gamer. Okay. But I mean, hey. All I'm gonna say is, while everyone else is out there playing the games that are the metrics for Joe's rankings, I'm out here playing games that make the known gamers and above on that list piss and shit themselves in fear at the mere concept of launching it and trying to even parse what's happening. I'm out here mastering those games literally every day. Joe started shitting himself when I said, let's do, let's do our game in Stalker. I'm going to give him the UNISP 
challenge, and let's see how far he gets. Let's see how far he fucking gets out there, dude. Gonna fuck, wants to fucking tell me what's what? Let's fucking walk him around. Let's take him for a fucking walk out here in Gamma. We'll take him for a walk. We'll see how he does. Can he even build a summer car? I'm not gonna make a claim that my summer car is a difficult game for anyone because that is truly just opening a guide. There's no like, there is. Look, saying that my, you built a summer car is saying that you followed a handbook. And that's a good achievement. And I even walk away and say like, that was a fun time. And like, it's cool when friends are able to do it, but it's not like I'm gonna look at it and be like, damn, you built your car? It's like, nah, you followed the guide. I followed the guide. Most people follow the guide. If you make your summer car without any health whatsoever, you're a freak. Someone in chat's helping you. Someone's something, something's awry, you know? Why make a car when buy one? True. Yeah, let's put him, dude. Yeah, that'd be a good one. I'll just get Joe to play uh, Mine Shafts and Monsters on a two-person Minecraft server with me, and we'll see which one of us appears in the chat log first as dead. Although I don't think he wanted to rate survival games, even though I would say, look, here's the problem is that basically his rating, his rating system excludes anything involving actual, like, gamer sense. Uh, like there's a lot of that can, that can extend to many games, but all of his stuff was like, you gotta be a good RTS gamer, which he gave me, he gave me 4X credit. Dude, I can't, I fucking never play 4X games in multiplayer because I fucking hate, I hate, like, attacking my friends. So I'm not even sure I should have gotten that one. I just knew I was better than a gamer. I just knew I, de I deserved to be a known. I suffer, I've suffered too much in Stalker and been neck and neck with everyone else in the competitive Overwatch group that I play with, which is Gmart and Lawman and all them, easily fitting in in that group to be rated be beneath any of them. Like, all right, as far as far as I'm concerned, wherever Gmar is, I should be literally next to him. We should be attached at the hip. I'm not saying he should be below me, but I'm saying I should be next to him. Because I think Gmart and I are very close in skill. And if I was gonna make that list, I would put Gmart pretty much next to me. There's only two people I know that deserve to be in like God Gamer. One, Bed Bananas. Bed Bananas. If Bed's not in God Gamer, Joe is a hack. Okay. I'm gonna give some credit to some of my friends. All right. If Bed's not in God Gamer, Joe is a hack. And the other one? Hmm. Oh, is Tomato crying about the rating? I'm talking about bed right now. The other one is Shane. Uh, Shane's a god gamer. Those are the only two. Those are the two. Those are the two that when I play... No, 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 check, because here's my... Here's how I would do it. Okay. Uh, well, here's how I am in interpreting it. People I literally would not want to have on an enemy team ever. If I press tab and I saw them on the enemy team, I'd be like, fuck. Others, I feel like there's a chance, like pretty much across the board. But if I saw bed on the enemy team of almost any game, I'd be like, fuck. It's probably just fake my internet going down. I should fake my internet going down now. I should get out of there. Nah, but here's the thing though. <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing. At the end of the day, again, if 
Joe want to play something with me could just fucking ask instead of making making a big scene in front of all those people, all those screaming people, those screaming crying people. At the end of the day, that's what's really all about. Could just ask. He knows I'm around. I could have asked. Unfortunately, I'm busy. It's time to take control of my own destiny instead of leaving it in Joe's hands. And by declining to meet him in any tournament, wherever my rating moves in his retaliation of that, no longer matters. It's as simple as that, baby. You take control of your destiny. You grab the reins. And you steer it wherever you so please. <laughs> I got the people to put me at known, and then with question marks as where I could go after, I said goodbye. <laughs> there will be no tournaments. You think me a fool? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You let me know, Joe Fudge, when you want to play a Friendly game with me, your friend, no rankings involved, because I'd love to. But until that day comes, you can suck my dick. I ain't ever going to one of those raiding fucking sessions. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. He's streaming. He can't hear you. He'll know. <laughs> Come on, chat. He'll know. Yeah. That's all I have to say on the subject. I'll give him some credit there. He did compliment me as a streamer, which made me feel really good until, uh, like, two people in chat were like, he only, Tomato only reads jokes from chat, which, uh, was, uh, a little rude. A little rude coming from my friend Gmart, who I don't think perhaps even thought I was in the chat. <laughs> I mean, oh, chat, make no mistake. I can close you <laughs> and still have an enjoyable stream. If that's if that's really where we're at, I can. I don't think you'd be too happy about it, though. But what about all my funny messages? Now I'm confused. But now, but now I'm confused. But now I'm confused. So you, so you, but. Uh. Now hold on here. Now hold on here. Now I'm confused. Do you, do the, do the people want me to read their messages or do they want me to not read their messages and not comprehend the funny message? I literally write this script. Look, man. I like reading chat's funny messages. And I make a solid effort every time because I don't. And obviously it doesn't really fucking matter and no one really cares. I care to the extent where I'll be like, hey, chat said it. Because some people, some people will be like, ah, oh, how dare he? I do. I do. I try. I don't think anyone really cares. But I felt bad when Gmart said that, dude. <laughs> it made me feel bad. I'm, what I'm saying is I demand an apology. What I'm saying is I, d I demand an apology or I, will, or I will hate him for the rest of my life. As I should? Yeah. I demand an apology in song. Gmart wish his chat was funny. Now this is an interesting curveball. Now this is an interesting curveball. It's not about Jamart. <laughs> it's actually about his chat. Okay, chat v chat. This doesn't have to be about me and him. This can be about the chats. 
Hmm. Hmm. The chat wars. Okay. Now this is a more interesting curve. Look, drama sells. I've been out of the game for too long. Only bringing the best. To Look, ch my chat's fucking funny. All right, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. All right, I'm gonna give you guys some fucking credit. You guys say some fucking funny stuff. And it's not just one or two people, okay? And if you guys weren't funny, I'd probably stream less because it would be less fun. So, you know. He's calling us clowns. Yeah, it's a kind of an insult what I'm saying, I guess. You never say that. Well, I never say compliments. Look, usually it's because I'm I'm mad at you for something that you deserve to make no mistake. All right, chat. Now calm the hell down, okay? This is all just goofs. This is, it's all just goofs. No smedge. I was actually, I almost decided to play a game today that would require actual fucking gamer skill out of like a, some kind of irrational desire to just prove to myself that I'm a gamer. I overcame it though. <laughs> Sonic, <laughs> I talked a lot of shit about Sonic Frontier. And uh, I watched some more gameplay of it today, this morning. I stand by what I said. Some people seem to be having like differing opinions on it. I stand by what I said. It looks kind of okay, but kind of okay doesn't really cut it, especially when the pop-in is so fucking miserable in an open world game. I, at the, look, at this point, pop-in has to die. It is, we are, we are so advanced as a people and we have such powerful hardware and software at our disposal at this point in time. Pop-in at about 200 feet away in a game where you have to go fast and perceive what's in front of you quickly is truly fucking untenable and because of that frontiers sucks fans are just so happy to have a game that's mediocre rather than actual garbage i guess i'm in the minority where i'm a sonic fan that wants a little bit more than that that expects and demands more i guess it's not really i'm a sonic fan anymore i'm a i'm a sonic I, i'm a post sonic kid all right i used to be a sonic lad okay but i feel nothing for it anymore i like the idea of sonic as a game <laughs> i that's where i'm at Any interest in Somerville next week? I literally don't know what that is. And no, don't tell me. <laughs> and no, as a matter of fact, don't even explain what that means. The Lost Generation actually refers to Sonic Kids. There it is. And there it is. And there it is. And there it is. When Neo Pet's darkest fairy streamer. Ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah, nah, dude. I don't want to. I don't fucking want to. <laughs> <laughs> How many times do I have to explain that that game is evil to you people? He's scared. 
grab anyone that you think is a gamer or a god gamer, tell them to play Neopets the Darkest Fairy and fucking beat it. Okay? Just tell them all they have to do is beat the game. And they'll lose. And they will lose. Say you can't reset the game at any point. You have to play one continuous save. No, lo no like, loading back to an old save. And you will softlock. You will at some point softlock. And it'll be in the sewers. And people that know the game know what I'm talking about, man. You will softlock. It'll be in the sewers. You're gonna get fucked. I remember like it was fucking yesterday because shit does like forced damage to you and you truly only have finite resources. You only have so many heals in the game. So once you run out, you're out. And if you don't have them for the sewer level, you're fucked. You're gonna die. If I talk, I think everyone I've ever talked to, and yeah, that game is not an insanely popular game, obviously. But everyone I've ever talked to that played that game as a kid has a similar memory of playing to the sewers and then stopping. And it's because the game made you. You'd get, you'd get like 20 hours in and then you'd get to the sewer level and that would be where the game switched from like PS2 difficulty to uh, like old school NES game design where it just says fuck you you didn't do everything perfectly up to this point go fuck yourself go fuck yourself I don't know a person that's beaten Neopets the darkest fairy how long does it take to beat it one sitting hang along hang on how long to beat Neopets the darkest fairy 24 hours main story this game is fucked 24 hours and you can get 22 hours in before the game tells you to go fuck yourself it, imagine playing legend of zelda but there's finite hearts to replenish your health think about that imagine playing legend of zelda but there but there's finite rupees in the grass. <laughs> you could only cut the grass one time. There is no returning vases. There's the one. And if you spend stuff wrong, it's gone. It grows back? Yeah, but you can't backtrack. The game's not like Legend of Zelda where there's an open world hub that you can navigate through. At certain points, the game forces you into new zones. And when you're in those new zones, you've lost every opportunity you have. And it doesn't tell you. I remember that for sure. You'd end up, it forces you forward into new zones, sometimes character swapping you. And then you're fucked. It's about the journey, not the destination. Shut your fucking mouth. All right, before I shut it for you, that sounds less fun. Oh, yeah. No, Neopets the Darkest Fairy was not fun. Chat, this is, okay, here's what I'm, here's what I'm seeing. I'm on the How Long to Beat website, which I trust with my fucking life. Okay. And main story, four people have documented main story playthroughs. Okay. <laughs> and most people are saying it takes about 20, Four hours and 22 minutes to beat. Of the four people. And only four? Yeah, but Chet, the thing is, they all landed at the same spot. Which means not one of them was, like, fucking around. And the fact that one person said they rushed it and sprinted to the end and they only cut an hour off of the median. Not a speed run, but was like, I, I ran for it. I didn't do anything, like, weird or, like, do any side content. And they only cut an hour off. Think about that. That game's evil. I 
I see a long play on YouTube that's 12 hours long. I just don't believe it. If it's actually true that it can be beaten in 12 hours, that'd be interesting. I remember it taking me to get to where I was, which felt like the end of the game. God knows if it was, though. God knows if it was, because I didn't beat it. All right, chat, people are like linking the speed run percentage in time, and I'm sitting here like, man, uh, I ain't planning on speed running no games. <laughs> so that's nothing. That's, that's nothing. Markiplier could. Don't care about him, man. I just don't care about him, man. It's not, it's not, it's not that I don't like him. I barely know him. I don't give two shits about his gaming skill in this context. I really don't. Okay. I just don't care. We can't all be Mark. It's okay. It'll prove to Joe you're a god gamer. I can't do this, dude. I can't. The, here's the thing, every moment that Joe continues to stay in my fucking head, he wins, and he's got this big fucking smile on his face, and I don't even really know if I can truly ever believe any rating he gives me, because he loves fucking with me. He fucking loves it. He knows he gets in my head unlike anyone else. He lives in there rent-free 24-7 when he does some fucked up shit, and he knows it. Can't let him, I can't let him in. That's why I had to say I'll never meet him at the tournaments. That's why I said I'd never go. Because if I do, he won. Ah. He's going to give you a good rating. You're not going to trust him. I won't, honestly. <laughs> I'll, if he gives me a good rating now, I'll be like, he's f he fucking knows. He fucking knows what he's doing. He's fucking with me. He's, he's having such a good time getting in my head. People are talking. The speedrun for Darkest Fairy uses a money glitch at the start of the game, a speed glitch, and a crawling under the map. Dude. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hang on. My music stopped. Okay. Nice. All it takes is one bad review. We're moving on. I can't. <laughs> I just can't. But yeah. I'm excited to play this game. I'll tell you what. On an unrelated note, I learned today that Devil Joe actually does not eat its own tail. Dude, I can't. I can't start talking about Monster Hunter. I just can't do this stuff. That's so unrelated, and I'm choosing not to engage in that unrelated conversation. I'm not. I won't do it. I just fucking can't anymore. You didn't have to read that? I read everything. Because I'm a professional streamer. Okay. I'm a professional variety streamer. I'm out here every day, all right? In the variety minds, reading every message, keeping even the chat, the amount of people I read in chat at a high variety, a high concentration of various voices. Okay. I'm skipping that one though, and that one, and you can go fuck yourself. Write a better message next time, bozo. Too mad. <laughs> Fuck you too then. Dude, I think Smadge was the best addition to chat I've made in a little bit. I like Smadge. Why? 
it's just it, it just works really well it's just it's just a good fucking emo now i kind of want to play darkest fairy dude just play like ghosts and goblins or whatever the fuck it is you might have a better time at least it would kill you quickly At least that one will put you down fast and clean. All right. Darkest Fairy will take about 22 hours for it tells you you were fucked 12 hours ago, motherfucker. That's what Darkest Fairy does, dude. It fucking waits until you're 22 hours in before it says in hour four you fucked yourself. It's evil. Ready for Dwarf Fortress, December 6th? Actually, no, I'm fucking not. And the problem is I'm now at this point where I'm struggling to justify. Chat, here's my problem with Dwarf Fortress right now. I would like to brush up and like actively do a fortress on my own time before the release on December 6th. The problem is I don't remember any of the fucking bindings for the base normal game. And the secondary problem with uh, with that is that I'm not sure I want to learn the bindings when I know they're all going to change and be fixed on December 6th. So do I learn the shitty old bullshit of Dwarf Fortress? Okay. Which I'm prepared to do. The problem is I'm not prepared to do it if at the end of the month it's going to spit in my eye and say it changed everything after I did all the suffering. Do you know what I mean? That's the problem. I don't know if I want to do like, if I want to pick up Dwarf Fortress early so I can ha be like super informed. Specifically just for it to like take it away at the end of the month. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's the problem. Cause that's gonna feel really bad. Cause I used to be much better off with Dwarf Fortress and I stopped playing for a while. And it's not like Cataclysm, where, like, the bindings are actually really intuitive and make a lot of sense to me. Like, on Cataclysm, it was always really easy, because it was like, examine, lowercase e, eat, shift e. Like, it, the things match the letters of what it is you're actually doing. But, uh, Dwarf Fortress is kind of like, uh, just a mess. Well, you- Tomato, what you're asking is if you want to deal with a lot of backseating or a sizable amount of backseating. I mean, the way I see it right now... Okay, chat, here's the thing. Okay. I'm not even sure how possible... I should be fine by then, but for the record, on the 17th, I'm getting like an ulnar nerve entrapment surgery on my left hand, which might fuck up my ability to use my hand for work for possibly a month. So... I already have to look around at games that I can do with minimal keyboard use with my left hand. Apparently, I should be fine, but you, uh, like, according to, like, stuff online, there's also a chance my fingers could just not work for, like, a couple of weeks. Uh, like, not at a point where I can actually, like, do things. So, I'm hoping I'll be good, but... On the other hand, there may also just be a chance that I don't, like, I just wait until I'm feeling, like... Good to go on that? You know what I mean? It's gonna be painful too. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> yeah, I'm having someone cut into my fucking elbow. Yeah. I'm gonna be given extreme painkillers because they're carving into the ligaments and muscles of my elbow to free a nerve that won't stop making me feel like I hit my fucking funny bone. But according to a lot of the stuff regarding it, um, my tingling isn't super bad. So my the feeling in my fingers shouldn't get too bad either when they cut into it and do that. So I think uh, according to like, like uh, stuff online i should be good to use my fingers for typing within like a couple days like a day or two 
But again, stuff can go weird in like surgery and not come out one to one with like what a paper says I should be able to do. So I kind of need to like at least pick out a week of games I can use that I can stream and do like with only one hand as if I broke my arm, essentially. Because I might have to have like a splint on my like uh, elbow to keep my arm straight. Like I, I have like, I it's a genuine like thing. I got mine done on September 16th. I still have numbness and reduced grip strength. Fingers being worse than before surgery for a while is apparently normal. Pain wasn't. My fingers are, my grip strength right now is absolutely fine. Everything is fine aside from the fact that I have tingling in my fingers. And the problem is the fact that I had tingling in my fingers means that the surgeons are pushing for me to have the surgery anyways because it will eventually be permanent nerve damage. Even though right now my hand is working absolutely fine aside from feeling like a little funny. So it's like, okay, I'm getting a surgery that's gonna make my situation far worse. But yeah, basically, uh, I might end up not being able to type really very well for a couple months with one hand. So I'm hoping I'll be, it won't be that bad because obviously uh, I would like to be able to continue to work. But yeah, obviously I'm not gonna like not do the surgery and take my chances, that'd be ridiculous. But uh, yeah, not fun. Become a react streamer. If it's between that and actually not being able to work for like a month, I'm gonna have to do some reacting. Okay, I don't know what else to say. Like if it's if my excuse is hi, I literally can't play games because my arm has had nerve surgery done, then fucking so be it. I don't know what else to do. So I'm kind of playing it by ear. It's unfortunate because I truly won't know what my situation is gonna be regarding that until post-surgery. Because some places are like, yeah, you won't be able to use your arm or fingers for like weeks after. But some of that is also taking into account the fact that when you have that surgery done, usually you're having a much worse time than I'm having. And your fingers were already not doing that well. So mine may, they don't actually cut into the nerve. Like they're not going to be like fucking with the nerve. They fuck with the area around it to give it more space. So I shouldn't have like horrible debilitating, like like worthless hand syndrome for the next month, but who knows? You know, I'll have to see. Nerves reconnecting is incredibly painful, so that's lucky. Yeah, they're not touching any of the nerves. Uh, they're just, it's called ulnar nerve entrapment surgery. That's what I'm getting. Uh, but apparently I should be good to do normal typing and stuff after. So I'll probably just do, uh, if everything works well and my fingers aren't like totally immobilized, which they shouldn't, uh, after like a couple days, then I should be good to do stuff as normal again. I'll probably just pick games that aren't like actively super in depth, like motion and shit for WASD. RIP OSU streams. Yeah. My, my destiny stolen. Well, you know what is actually like a thing that I'm thinking is that what I might end up doing, cause like, here's the thing. Everything I've looked up, not one thing about the surgery has said that my fingers and hand will be uh, like completely unable to function like a week after the surgery. Nothing says that. Everything's like, oh, you just have to be careful. Like don't pick up like heavy stuff. Like, like all the normal stuff for surgery. Uh, so I'm, I'm assuming that if like, keyboard isn't a thing, I might just be able to use a gamepad because my index and middle finger, my pointer finger and middle finger uh, are, aren't even like affected by that nerve. Uh, it's actually my uh, my ring finger and my pinky finger are what are fucked right now, specifically. 
So, uh, I should be okay. Maybe we'll do, well, I've got stuff to do. I'm not, I'm not too worried. I'm more worried about like, I'm more worried about actually having the surgery than the post process of it. Cause I have not had surgery done before. So that, that's more of my, my situation anyways. But just so people know that next Thursday, uh, obviously I will not be streaming. And uh, I might, I may whiff like the next day because I think like the first like couple days I will be on like actual like real painkillers, like no joke painkillers and stuff. And like have an arm that needs to be elevated in front of my face or else I will have like horrible swelling. Take even longer, tomato. Hey, it's a, how about you just leave for a couple months? How about you just how about you just go ahead and take a hike forever? The good stuff. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, uh, if I had to take uh. If I had to take time off because I had someone literally cut into my fucking body, it's a pretty good excuse. Uh, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good, pretty good break reason. I, I, that's not laziness. I didn't do nothing wrong. Aside from have bad nerves. The worst part, honestly, you know what's the worst part? Is that during the buildup to having the surgery, like getting it scheduled and everything, I've started to feel the same tingling on my other hand, and I feel like it's like psychosomatic and like placebo, like some kind of crazy shit. But I'm like, I'm like, oh, I really hope that, because like the doctor was very straightforward to me. They're like, you can just get it from like, if you work on a desk job and you're constantly in a chair and you're using like armrests, you can just fuck up the nerve by doing that for your straight. Uh, and I can, I'm almost completely positive. It's just, I've been getting the tingling on one side. Now I'm thinking about it and worrying about it. And it's making me hyper fixate on the other side. So I'm not like worried that much, but I'm like, oh boy, it's going to be really fun to have this side done. And then six months later, as soon as I've recovered on like my left side, I'm going to have to have my right side done because it was actually happening the whole time too. I'm like, oh, that's going to suck. I guess it won't be as bad the second time because I'll know what I'm in for, but. So I should wear elbow pads. Unironically, according to the, uh, the doctor I saw, yes. <laughs> Unironic, dude, ever since my doctor told me about that crap, I don't use the armrests on my office chair anymore. I don't use them. I let my arms rest naturally next to me at my desk because at the very least, then my elbows aren't like compressing the nerves because before I would just like put a lot of weight on my arms at like the chair and now I don't use them at all because at least then at least then I know I'm not like fucking up the other side anymore because I'm so spooked by that now dude I don't want to have surgery twice Would a standing desk help? Just anything that keeps you from using armrests, yeah. Basic, here's the thing, chat. Basically, what causes it is your elbow being bent. Like that, that right angle kind of thing where your arm is bent in a right angle can put stress on that nerve and cause scar tissue to form on that nerve site which is basically what it is, is I don't have an extreme version at all. Mine's very, very faint, but they're just like, if you leave it like that and it continues to tingle even faintly, eventually it won't go away with surgery and it'll get worse. And I'm like, oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> I get, and they're like, basically you don't need the surgery yet, but you should get it because if you don't, it will be permanent later. So I'm having like 
precautionary surgery done because alternatively I will just have a bad hand for the rest of my life. And I would rather not have a bad hand for the rest of my life. The gamer in me now is thinking about the temporary recovery time of a surgery, but I'm able to rationally think that in like fucking 30 years, I'm gonna feel like a real bozo when my arm sucks because I didn't have surgery when I was in my 20s about it. Are VR games okay for you? Probably, look, as far as I'm concerned, and this is what I already know they're gonna say, I'm not going to be having anything in my hand that I'm carrying, especially not a fucking VR controller, until like, my, like, sutures have been removed after surgery. Like, it's gonna be like a couple of weeks before I can do anything like that, because like, that shit, they're, 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 going, they're going deep into that elbow, man. That nerve is like central elbow. I ain't gonna fuck with anything that I'm I'm already spooked. I don't wanna fuck with anything that fucks with that cut. I ain't gonna do that. But hey, I still have a week to cure myself. <laughs> Jack, Jack, there's some there's some fucking good news though, isn't there? I still have a week to cure it before I have to have surgery about it. So I, I I've started praying, that's right. I get down on my knees every day, I pray to God and to Jesus Christ and Satan. And I kind of throw the net wide. I'm throwing the net really wide and I'm praying to many creatures. And I'm hoping that one of them will fix my elbows so I don't have to go to the doctor about it and have them cut into me. Hey, good news is every time that the doctors have talked to me about the surgery, they've been like, hey, don't worry, it only takes 20 minutes. So I'm like, oh, good. At least when I'm like totally whacked out of my mind on sedatives as they're cutting into my elbow, because apparently it's not general anesthesia. They just like fucking give me some wacky drug and totally knock me unconscious with that. I just, I'll just fall asleep normally. Uh, when I'm zonked like crazy, I'll only be zonked for about 20 minutes and then they're gonna send me home. So at the very least, I'll have my evening to look at my horrible gauze wrapped elbow. They're gonna give me an edible and an ibuprofen and I'm gonna be zonked. <laughs> They'll give me half a tab of Benadryl, and I'll just be fucking out of there, man. Is this surgery going to be a speed run? Dude, honestly? Look. The first thing I asked them when they were scheduling it was, I... Is it general anesthesia? Because I'm I, I have a I'm a little bit spooked by that. I don't like I don't like the idea of being put entirely unconscious to the point where I like need assistance breathing. That's just like a I, I feel like a lot of people have that fear. And obviously usually nothing bad ever happens, but it's like I still don't want that. I'd rather avoid it if I can help it. And they were like, oh yeah, no, you're gonna have the same thing they do for a colonoscopy, which is we just give you some fucking crazy drugs. And you're just gonna fall asleep. And when you wake up, you're gonna feel great. And I'm like, you're not, you're selling, it's like you're trying to sell drugs to me as a dealer. Like, I don't, like, they, they were like, they were like talking about drugs like it was gonna be like the best shit I ever had. Like, they're gonna whip out the Flintstone, <laughs> they're gonna whip out the multivitamin gummy for me. And I'm gonna fucking slam that shit down. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a melatonin gummy. I'm gonna pass right out. I'm gonna wake up. <laughs> I'm gonna feel incredible. Trying to get you less scared. Look, dude, nothing. Look, as far as like IV drip drugs put into my system. Okay, still feel better about that than them putting like a gas mask over my face and then I just cease to have body functions without the help of machines. Uh, every time, I'd still rather that. Besides, I've had a doctor put drugs into my body to like, well not drugs, but like contrast for like a CAT scan. 
and that was the worst. Nothing could be worse than when they gave me those and were like, you're going to feel really warm and you might pee your pants. And they told me that after I started to feel really warm, and I started to wonder if I was going to pee my pants. Okay? So I've had worse. Like, I, I, I can handle... I can handle the sedative. I'm not too worried about... I'll just, like... I'm going to get in there. They're going to give me that. And I'm just going to say in my head, I'm going to sleep. And I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to I'm gonna clock out. And I'll wake up with, uh, with my arm feeling bad. That's my plan. That's my big plan. Yes, I peed. All right, I peed. <laughs> I didn't... I did not pee. I, I was one of the lucky ones. Um, apparently sometimes people pee. Sometimes people pee. Okay. Pee boy. Piss boy. <laughs> I did, I'm not a piss boy. I didn't pee. My, my bladder was fully under control. And I don't, I don't go to the hospital without fully emptying it because I dare not. Because I don't know where the fucking bathrooms are at doctor's offices. I wouldn't dare. Okay, there was nothing to pee. <laughs> Smash, I didn't pee. <laughs> I'm not a piss boy, dude. I'm not. <laughs> Wrong. I'm not owned! Doctors slash surgeons usually make you pee before surgery anyways. Yeah. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, I'd still rather have surgery on, like, my arm than the doctor being, like, where you have to, like, cut right into your abdomen and do something crazy in, like, your central torso. Because, at least in my brain, I can rationalize it's a lot harder to fucking kill me cutting into my elbow. All right, and yeah, they're professionals, but I'd still rather them do something with my arm. Okay, then my fucking, then my like, my tummy. Okay, you're gonna have a sick elbow scar. They did tell me that. So you think? I mean, the what? The worst they can do is fucking immediately nick an artery and just I'll just bleed out horribly everywhere, you know. But that's what that's what you know. That. Nicking in arteries seems at least like they can probably react to that on an arm. I'd rather have them do arm surgery than brain surgery, okay? I'm glad they weren't like, unfortunately, this nerve is located at your brain stem. Because I would have been like, I guess my arm no work anymore. I guess that's okay. Most complications come from anesthetic, actually. Which is why I'm uh, much more happy to ha be, like, not having general. And instead, I'm just gonna get, like, a localized anesthesia and sedatives. And if I walk into that fucking surgery and they tell me I'm having general, I'm gonna walk out and be like, that's not what you told me, and I need to talk to my doctor again about this process. I will not let- Dude, I'm so spooked by that. Because I've had doctors try to pull fast ones on me before. And if I walk in there after confirming what they're going to be doing to me and they fucking curveball me and they're like, no, nah, we're doing this one instead. I'm like, all right, bye bye. But I'll reschedule. I've been told I have a lot of time before this is going to be a problem. Goodbye. Bye bye. I won't let it. I won't let him do it, dude. I'm so spooked by that. I would never let someone curveball me like that. I don't care. Tomato thinks he knows more than doctors gaming. It's not about thinking I know more than doctors or anything like that. It's about the fact that uh, I deliberately asked my doctors what kind of process it would be. And if they approach me the day of after confirming to me the process and they give me a different process, I'm not going to let them do that. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> that I would. Mm -mm. No, no. I've already confirmed the process. They try to put like, they try to give me general anesthesia. I'm gonna be like, uh, no, that's not what I was told. Uh, I, I deliberately tried to be as informed about this as possible. No, no. No, no, dude. No way. I got phobia around that. I want, I want general anesthesia. 
at least like I need to know. I'd need to know I was going into it. I couldn't be like fucking just curveballed with that. That'd scare me so much. That would scare the shit out of me, actually. Gonna wake up and poof, dick gone, Poro said. Poof, dick gone. First thing I'm gonna do when I wake up is check. All right. I don't want to find out someone stole it while I was unconscious. Happened to me once. Damn, man. That's fucking crazy. Damn, man. They took it. <laughs> you got everyone check lately? Make sure it's still there. Could've been stolen in the dead of night while you slept. Could've been stolen. You never know. No one ever knows. Had mine replaced with a pickle. Still funny. It's still fun. Yeah. Okay. It's still funny, guys. It's still funny. Let's give him some credit. Still funny. Still funny. Still makes me bust a gut every time. Every time I hear it, I just start laughing and laughing. Is it? Yeah, it fucking is. Did I stutter? <laughs> Did I fucking stutter? Tomato, I have a funny chat. Look, proof's in the pudding, all right? That kind of stuff scrolls by, everyone starts laughing. Everyone starts laughing it up, okay? Because it's fucking funny. Anyways, guys, it's time. I open up my laptop. My laptop squeaks. I really need to get that fixed. I start typing in it. Beep, 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 boop, beep. I've hacked into your Wi-Fi smart toilet. I've hacked into your Wi-Fi smart toilet with the integrated bidet and I've turned up the bidet's pressure to maximum overkill. And I turn it on and I use the water pressure to bore a hole through the ceiling straight into the gas line. Straight into the gas line, and gas starts fucking flowing into the bathroom. I then hack into the gas. Beep boop, beep 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 boop. I hack into the gas. And then I use the gas. I steer the gas while hacked into it. I steer the gas directly into your room. And then once I'm there, I push you over and I steal your wallet using the gas. And I fly the gas out the window with your wallet. Yeah. I kind of hacked a fart and made it come alive. Yeah. I kind of made the stinky air come alive with the power of electricity and use it to steal from you. I'm that powerful. <laughs> Simple as that. So we're playing a game called Dead Eye Deep Fake Simulacrum. Uh, it is very cool. And you're gonna have to take my word for it. You're gonna, this is, I would describe it as a mix of like, a true, like a true in-depth hacking game mixed with rogue, like Streets of Rogue is I think the closest thing I can give it. It's very cool. 
It's very cool. Wow, I hate that circle. You hate a lot of things. All right, you hate a lot of things. Let's be fucking honest. New game, slot zero. Time to wake up. You were recently in a terrible accident. We've salvaged your body and are bringing you back online now. A debt has been placed on your account in return for our services. One million dollars. One percent interest will be added to this debt each day until paid. To repay this debt, please report to our headquarters. See you soon. Oh, okay. Here I am. This game has that presentation very similar to Caves of Cud, where it's like almost ASCII, but it's ASCII but fake ASCII, if you know what I mean. So here I am. I'm a faraway Cubits cyborg model with an ego of two, level one, speed, max speed of 5.49 feet per second. Or maybe per five seconds. Uh, I have $5,000 to my name. Help desk messaging system. Welcome, hon. Please step on the red marker so I can check you in. Okay. Hello, hon. Are you the new employee? You tell me. Help! I don't know who I am! I don't know where I am! Let me out! Let me out of this box! Whoa, whoa, slow down, hon. Don't worry. You're in the right place. You're safe. We're gonna take care of you. I do the crying face. There, there. I'm going to explain things, and then we're going to get you settled in. All right, hon? All right. Here we employ highly skilled agents who hold considerable amounts of debt, usually medical debt. During your stay with us, you can complete contracts at your own pace until you manage to pay all of it off. Make sense? Make sense. Smile. As an agent, you can complete contracts with a focus on infiltration, assassination, hacking, and more. You'll be provided with a spacious employee apartment and given access to top-class marketplace for all your equipment needs. Sound good? Sounds good. We also understand that memory loss and other side effects can follow from extensive medical operations. As part of your introduction, we'll help refamiliarize you with the basics of hacking and firearms training. Woo! Guns! Yes, yes, very exciting. Now, whenever you're ready, just take the elevator up. We'll get you processed and situated in your new living space. Thank you so much. I was so afraid, but you cleared everything up. <laughs> Thanks, wow. Smile. I really mellowed out after all the screaming. <laughs> wow, thanks. I love guns. I know, hun. Big life changes can be scary, but I'll be here to help you through it. Take the elevator when you're ready. Okay, goodbye. Wow, that was really nice of them. Oh, huh? what the heck? Welcome, Agent. In the wake of your unfortunate accident, our medical staff has reconstructed your body. Our financial office has placed a debt of $1 million on your account. This debt will increase by 1% each day until fully paid. So you may pay off this large sum. You've been accepted as an agent under our employment. You'll be given granted... Class C employee housing for the duration of your stay with us and granted access to the state of the art tools for completing your assignments. Type your desired code name below to demonstrate your understanding of these terms. Uh. Big idiot. Can't contain spaces. Uh. Piss boy. I'm not gonna do piss boy. <laughs> I'm not gonna do piss boy. I can't. I can't do piss boy. I already typed it. All right, this character's name is Piss Boy. Maybe if if I were the people that paid mil like a million dollars to bring me back to life, basically, and the first thing my character said was his name for this company is Piss Boy. I would immediately, like, kill this guy. I'd be like, this was a fucking waste of our time. Someone else can... So, like, uh, ha this, is, this guy doesn't understand what I just said. What's this? 
Press E to use revisionism hypoxia. You do not want to use anything called revisionism hypoxia. I'll tell you what. You see something called that, you don't pick it up or touch it. Oh, it's a gun. Your compass in the top right points to the mission objectives. Follow it to the firing range for weapons training. You can press space to sprint. All right, cool, cool, cool. Reload weapon with R, fire weapon mouse left, destroy all three targets. Use the ammo station uh, with your cursor if you need more ammunition. Okay. I don't think my gun's loaded. Reloading! Reloading! Five bullets in the magazine. Bam! 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 All right, easy. You can switch between ranged and melee combat with middle mouse. Oh, I've got a... A spear. Named, named, uh, named my first name. What are the odds? Wow, this was made for me. I, d I actually don't think that's like something that like read any uh, like stuff on my computer. I really do think it just is a coincidence. I was also given a different weapon when I did the tutorial earlier. Ultra doxed. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have a really good time if this game, uh, like, doxes me. That'll be really fun. I love it when games do that. But it's not going to. It's not going to. <laughs> For sure. For sure, it's not gonna, it's not gonna dox me. <laughs> You can kick through glass by pressing C. Using melee or shooting also works. Be aware that noise can alert enemies. Kick. Kick. That's what a kick looks like. Your compass points towards your mission objective, but the path is not always clear. Okay. <laughs> All right. Time for the real game. Next, we'll go over the basics of hacking. Step into the room, press tab to open your hacking interface. Okay. Type NS in the terminal and press enter. This will show you the list of computers you can access. All right, we have only one called door, o, door underscore one. So I'm gonna hop over to it. I've hacked in. Connecting to a computer and issuing commands costs data. You get one data each time you look at a computer for the first time. Type help remote to list the commands for the door. You can also press tab to auto complete. So the door has two options, seal or unseal, neither cost data. We're gonna unseal it so we can head through. You press tab to close your laptop or move to the next room uh, and then hop into the computer center by typing hop node zero. Okay. We're in. You got data for that too. The next door is locked, but the controls are on the other side. If you type grab, you can see this node has a connection point beyond the door. Huh? Oh my god. I'm in. I'm in. I can see the code. So you're telling me behind this door is another node. Hop. Node underscore one. Alright. Time for a new command. Type snap to snap your camera to the new connection. I'm in. Now we can just hop to door two now that we can see it. With the snap. Because the way the game works, chat is you can't teleport, you can't hack something, you can't see. But if we're in node one and we're snapped to it, then we can now see door two. So now we can hop to it. The defense systems do not know that we are here. All right, and now I'm gonna unseal the door so we can go in. I'm not snapped, so snap back so I can go back to my character. Easy, oh fuck! Yikes, a security system. These can alert nearby enemies. Hack and suspend the camera or destroy it. What's your, na what's your name? Camera zero. Okay. Hop. Camera underscore zero. I'm in. Okay, commands we got. Suspend or resume. We're going to suspend. We got it. Nice job. Move to the next room and hop into the server dummy computer. Okay. Hop. Server underscore dummy. Just right here. Whoa. Oh. 
Oh no! The network defenses have fucked you with your little si with your system a little. Oh, okay. This can happen when hopping to new computers. Type scrub to remove all negative effects. This action costs five data, so we've given you some extra. What the fuck's your problem, system defenses? Scrub. Oh, it punished me with a Dutch angle. <laughs> that was that was literally. The punishment was that it Dutch angled me. Okay, well, scrub. Refixed it. Uh, final command, typing spike when hopped in into a computer grants vision and a permanent connection. Please spike the server, dummy. Okay. Many of your missions will involve spiking a target computer. You completed your training. Follow the compass to the elevator when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> so that's the extreme basics of the game chat. Like, extreme basics. Uh, hall door. Hop. Hall. Door. Unseen. Uh, extreme basics. <laughs> but this game gets, uh, really ridiculous really quickly, and you'll see what I mean. F to slow time. Which is SLG. Which obviously... You'll understand what that's for later. Uh, anyways. Welcome, chat, to my apartment. <sighs> Welcome, chat, to my apartment. We can refill our, uh, SLG at the slug needle. So, look, go ahead and replenish my slow time thing. Got everything new connection. Let's take a look around. So, this is my office. We got slug needle, repair station, ammo station, gamer station over there. We also got the fridge. Let's grab something from the fridge. Oh, sorry. What I meant to say is, let's grab something from the fridge digitally. Uh, so let's hop into the fridge. And then we'll check what the commands are. Looks like I gotta go into the menu. Uh, what do we got in here? Flat, uh, we got flat iron steak. We got green tea ice cream and chocolate Fraser. I guess I'll eat a, uh, a, a flat iron. I have to actually do the whole thing. Uh, I'll eat a flat iron steak digitally. You ate the flat iron steak. The flavor was incredible. Okay, hang on. A uh, hop localhost. Okay, I don't have to hop to myself. I already ate it myself. What the hell's this? Chiplet found. Chiplet. Chiplet! All right, well, here we have the desktop. Here we have me. But just a mirror and toilet 5754. Hop. Toilet 5754. I'm in. Help. I choose to flush it. Digitally. Simple as that. All right, chat. Well, let's hop on the computer. We got work to do today. First of all, Tip of the day. Your compass in the top right points to objectives. Thank you for reading the tip of the day. $5,000 has been deposited into your account. Oh, nice. Cool. Easy. So how close am I to paying off my... Ah, uh, okay. Well, the interest is already... The interest is $10,000 a day. Which is not great. And which means it's actually a little bit more than 10,000 next time because it's stacking the interest. You can pay that 1% or I could never pay it. That'd be very piss boy. Welcome to employee housing. Once settled, please begin working to pay off your debt. You can make payments towards the debt using the bank program on your desktop. Employment opportunities can be found via the missions BBS. We recommend paying off your debt quickly to avoid accruing interest. Deaths during your time with us will add further penalties. Remember, you can exchange a complimentary chiplet for new skills in the abilities menu. Cool. We got something from the concierge. Hey, Hodden, I have a little job for you, smile. I've had some data stolen a while back. It's stored in a lightly guarded compound. Why don't you fly over there and steal it back for us? First missions are always tough, so don't worry if it takes a few tries. P.S. Your grenades should work now. Hold right click to use them. I'm on it, piss boy. Yep, I'm on it, piss boy. 
All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, abilities. Oh. Okay. Gunmeister. Uh, safety. Always off. This vocation unlocks six new abilities. Acrobat. Bring your body to its limits. Okay. Medic. Become the master of flesh. Technician. Summon mechanical servants to assist you. Chronomancer. Let time and space melt away. Esper. Expand your mind. Indulge in power. Hacker. I'm in. Empath. Play with the hearts and minds of others. Infiltrator. Which actually doesn't appear unless you hover over it, which is funny. Fade from you. You are not here. You never were. Knight. Unstoppable force, immovable object, necromancer, the dead live, the live, a uh, dead, and then jester, random perks and skills from other vocations. I do not think I'm good enough to play jester. It doesn't even show me what the random perks and shit are until we go in. I can't be piss boy the jester. <laughs> I can't be piss boy the jester, guys. I can't be Piss Boy the Jester. You know what? <laughs> a known gamer would pick the random one with no fucking mechanical balance at all. What what do I got? These are my randomized skills I received. Kiss X. Activates immediately, lasts forever. Blow a kiss, converting every enemy it passes through to your side. That's a really good ability. All my friends are dead. Activates after duration, lasts forever. Bring back your dead allies. Those two go together really well. Uh, those two go together really well. Lord of Meat. Summon a pro boss meat sovereign to your click what what wait what is this <laughs> a prophesized meat sovereign <laughs> i thought we we're playing a hacking game you know what a proboscis is? i mean i vaguely trauma team Summon a highly durable trauma team equipped with tasers. Am I just a summoner necromancer build right now? Sneaky Weasley. Throw a projectile that silently breaks glass, opens doors, suspends cameras, and turrets. Okay. Spoof. Prevent the system overlord from witnessing your hops. Okay. And then end precognition. What the hell's end, end precognition? Cost zero ego. End... Precognition. What? But we need precognition. <laughs> I. But what, what if I. What if I need it? Try it. I press Q to end my precognition. God, this is a bad day. That, that no 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 press tab while typing in here I got five thousand dollars Okay um it seems like nothing has changed Wait Wait I by ending my precognition I enter a time loop chat it's a restart without death chat what we have is the ability to save scum the game normally when you die you get a million more dollars added to the debt but if i hit end precognition before my death i quick load to the beginning of the level i have i have an undo button jester's cracked Yo! It doesn't even cost any ego! Holy shit! I also have three perks that I got. Unstoppable Force. Switching to melee adds 100 damage to your next attack. 
You may not switch back until you make a melee kill. I have none of these equipped right now. I have to get chiplets to do them. Martial art snack. Or kick deals your max speed in damage, but costs one ego. Kicking an enemy grants 5% stackable speed boost for 20 seconds. Real-time insurance. Damage is absorbed by your wallet at a rate of 1,000%. Damage is taken normally when wallet is empty. <laughs> this gesture is fucked. <laughs> debt build, debt build. Debt build. All right, end precognition I'm gonna have on control. Uh, we're gonna put uh, right now, chat, the problem is uh, this mm, skeleton I have, my armor only has two ego. A lot of my stuff is really expensive. I'd love to summon the Lord of Meat. But for now, I think we're going to equip Sneaky Weasel on shift. I'm going to put Spoof on Q. Uh, now we got to buy some stuff. Let's go to the shop. First of all, skeleton, this is what lets us get a higher ego. We need like a caster. Uh, so I think what we probably want is, uh, let's see here. Probably hook-nosed counterfoil. Uh, much honestly better in everything. Yeah. High armor, low speed. The problem is low speed. Very low speed. Uh, we want, we want high ego. And he's the highest ego. Low armor, high ego. This one's only four. I think we get hook-nosed counterfoil. I think we get hook nose counterfoil. It's gonna cost 10,000, but I think it's good to invest in that heavily. We're gonna get hook nose counterfoil. And then we can go to the armory. He's already maxed out. He's already max level, so we don't need to upgrade him. Okay. And we're already equipped on him. I'm gonna lock it in so we don't lose him. <laughs> need money. Okay. Looking good. Wardrobe. Now I'm gonna change how I look. I wanna make myself I wanna make my R very high and my G B very low. Now let's make myself look nice. I wanna look like a cowboy. And I want my gun to look like this. No, I want my gun to look like this. No, 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 but really though, I want my gun to look like this. Lock it in. I want to be fucking green. Lock it in. Melee? I want my melee weapon to be really blue. I want my grenade. To, my grenade's fine. I don't really care about the grenade. Okay. Let's play the game now. Am I smaller? I don't look very red either. Hang on. Hold up. Now, hold on just a second. Why am I so not... It didn't save my color. I don't think I pressed lock. There we go. All right, partner. Let's get out there and hack some people. Huge ball sack. Shut the fuck up. Why would you say that? Now, why the hell would you? Now I'm gonna have to end precog. Now, now look what you made me do. You're gonna make me end precognition. <laughs> All right, here we are. Get on the helipad. We're going down. Scrote Lord. Piss boy is my name right now, okay? I switched to melee. Bah! Wait, why did I even break that? Oh well. Enter hacking mode. We got a data store here. System defenses, sleeping. Mission, just gotta find the shareholder, sir. Easy. Hop, data store. We have one data. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Punishment chance updated. Overlord angered. First time hops now have a 20% chance to result in punishment. Like I care. 
Uh, I'm gonna suck data out of this data store. All right, we got nine data. Let's roll. A camera there. I can just see it. So we're gonna hop to it. But forced weapon unload. I'm using a fucking bad gun anyways. What do I care? Okay, so we're gonna snap to the camera. Take a look around. I'm gonna dip behind the wall. All right. So we can only, we can get to the camera hub from here because it's connected. So now that we're in a camera, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna spoof it. We're gonna do a spoof, uh, which is Q, right? I'm spoofing. I'm gonna hop, camera, hub. Okay, snap. There's someone named Samira here. I'm, I'm in the hub of the entire thing. Uh, hop, com hub. All right, hop remote. Suspend. Prevents you from sending messages to each other. Suspend it. Okay, there's no- I've turned off communications with the entire system. Now I'm gonna hack. I'm gonna hop. System defenses are only at 20%. I'm gonna hop to Samira. I'm in. I've hacked a living creature. in my options silently unload their weapon slow them down sleep kill confuse pilot befriend mm. someone just blew up They exploded. I think I blew up multiple people because they were carrying a rocket launcher. But that's a, that's a them problem, not a me problem. I'm gonna hop back to a camera hub. Oh, fuck! Get the fuck out of here! I gunned them down. Whoever this idiot was, they- I threw a grenade. Acerbic Constancies. Take this weapon. It's gotta be better than mine. The fuck out of here! They're all dead. We got them. Chet, they're all dead. I've killed every last one of them. There's no one left to threaten me. Other than that actual real turret. Do you see that? You guys want to try something funny? You see those bullets have values? Oh, there's no way you'd ever have time. I need so much more slowdown. Yeah, right. All right, we're going to hop to the turret. A quick hop. Overlord is agitated, but who fucking cares? Who asked? Oh, we're just gonna suspend it. This room should be clear, because I believe every single person in it got blown up. That's my fucking spot. Shareholder server. All right, hop over to it. Eh, the touch angle! Spike, we're getting out of here. Go! They touched me. All right, piece of cake. That was an easy tutorial level. My debt has increased. Well done. Hey, sweetie, great work. 
You got us back. That data is so good. I've wired some extra fun bucks to your account. Go buy yourself some goodies. I'll contact you again soon with your new mission. P.S. It'll take me at least a day to prep your next mission. Feel free to take a nap in your bed or do a side contract from the mission, BBS. Okay. Switch between... Yeah, I know those tips. These are optional side missions. You're encouraged to take them while waiting for follow-up emails from important people. These missions can be challenging. Don't be ashamed to give up and return to your apartment if you're having trouble. You think I'm a clown? All I have to do... All right, is terminate two targets in a heavily guarded compound and I'll make $30,000. Maybe we do a 20K one. Maybe we take a 20K assassination. I just have to kill one guy for the click of Haverstock. We'll do that one. Enemies are wandering the area though. Oh, I didn't actually read that. It's gonna, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm about to spend some money. We're gonna buy uh. All right, chat, here's the thing. Oh, yeah, what are the odds? Yeah, really, it gave me a spear with my name, even though it's it really was random. What a- dude. That's a fucking sign. That's a fucking sign, right there. It knew. I see these are truly random, there's like new stuff every day. Choky Underexposures is the name of this guy. High speed, high ego, low slug. Not very high ego. Whoa, 10 ego on that guy. I kind of want to... Look, the armor is cool. 10 ego would let us do the summoning. I'm going to get the fridge. I bought the cowboy a little early. I'm going to get the fridge. And then we're gonna buy, uh, let's see here. I want something that does high damage, low recoil, low fire rate. Right here. Yeah, I'm kind of spending all of my money on weapons instead of taking care of my character's horrible debt. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Equipped, already locked in, good. Yeah, whatever. Living gonk droid. Chat, you guys are gonna see, cause I'm about to summon the Lord of Meat. Okay? I'm about to summon the Lord of fucking Meat. Then you gonna see. Then you gonna see. You all gonna see. I will summon a Meat Sovereign to the next room. We ain't playing. Hang on, is my weapon updated? I know that, like, I think, uh... Needs one to look longer. Like a sniper. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. There it is. There it is. Locked. Perfect. Let's mix up my guy's look now. I kind of really want to look like an idiot. Nice. There it is. And there it is, folks. That's tomato gaming. Right there. We got work to do. Sauce? Shut up. All right. What's up with this? What is all this? Is it foggy? Why is it? What is this? I heard, I heard glass break. Uh, do I summon the Lord of Meat? I summon the Lord of Meat. Oh. Uh, holy shit. That's, that's a guy. Oh fuck. All right, Lord of Meat. <gasps> oh fuck. Oh Jesus. Is he, I think he's winning. 
She like did a scream. I tried to. He killed the turret. He killed everything. Yo, okay. The Lord of Meat, not bad. A bit aggro, but not bad. Bit of a crazy guy. He killed everyone. Okay, well, somewhere in this complex is a target we need to assassinate. Apparently, he's he's mobile. He's very far up north. We're going to follow the perimeter of this map then. Everyone's wandering on this map. But he looks like he's staying pretty much on the north. Trinhe. I see someone. They're close. I don't have line of sight on them, though. Yeah, I won't be able to reach him. I need to get, like, a... I need to get on a camera system. Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> Lord of me, take it easy, man! He's dead. Uh. Trin, don't make me hack you, man! Slow the game down. Hop. Trin. I fucked up. I could have rewound! I could have got back a million dollars added to the debt! Ah! The meat, Lord of Meat, is an emergency play. It is not the opener. Fuck. Rewind. <laughs> Paulo, you. He knows? Rewind? He knows precog. <laughs> Just gotta get his name. All right, I can see him. I can see his little pings. Hop, Paulo. Fuck you, Paulo. I don't have enough data, anyways. Okay, I think I can just reach the turret. Hop. Hop. can't reach him. I gotta find a way to get past- This turret has got me dead to rights. Impala's not gonna make it any easier. I think I do have to summon the meat boy. I think it's the only way anything changes here. Paula's like getting really fucking in my face about that. I might have to kill him. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, he's gone. We got Paul. We got him. Why you guys keep calling it, Paul? Paul was a scumbag piece of shit. Get on the turret. Hop. Turret seven. I don't have enough data. That's the fucking problem. I need to find someone. I need to find someone or something to get my data up. There we go. A teleporter. And someone named Sa Satana. Hop. It's Santana. I could have had him, but I fucked it. They're just navigating around. Hop. Teleporter. Two. Yeah. I'm in. They don't know I'm here. They know. You're pathetic! The hell out of my face! I'm in the teleporter network. I need to get back inside the box. I need to get down here so I can start my process. How much data I have? Two? That's enough to hop. Snap. Help remote. Teleport user to endpoint. Okay, so we can free teleport to the spot on teleporter one now, but I don't know where that would go. I'm in. Right next to maintenance hub. I 
can see all of it. I have the data. We're in. I can see everything. And from this position, we're much closer to our target. If we teleport in there, we can drop, we can drop the Lord of Meat in the room and kill anyone in there. Oh, that's our guy! Fuck! What was his name? Pavlov. He walks back over this way, I'm gonna hop right into him and kill him. Fuck! It's going the other way. Come back! Ah, if I'd seen his name, I could have killed him right away. He scampered, uh... Oh. Wait a minute. I could also hop... I could hop into him. And just get him to kill him. Got him. I'm in. Chad, I'm in the systems of our target. All I have to do now is take his fucking life. All I have to do now is take his fucking life. And the question is, how do I fucking feel like doing it? He's giving me so much- Chat, this is how you get data. Look at this. I'm just farming data because this guy's walking by every single system. He just killed himself. He just killed himself because he's just farming me data. Sl unload, slow, sleep, kill, confuse, pilot. I guess I'll just kill. <laughs> so anyways, I blew up his head and I left. Easy $20,000 in my bank account. All right, that's how you make the money. How's my debt do it? How's my, how, but how is my debt doing? I have another task for you. The corporation abandoned some data in an old ruined facility. Can you trip, take a trip down there and salvage it for me? I'm on it. Piss boy. Oh my god. <coughs> the fuck? Uh. Chat, maybe I farm some. Chat, I got an idea. I'm gonna farm some uh, money using precog tips. Gonna farm some money using precog tips. Five thousand a day. Get up to like, get up to forty thousand dollars. You're never retiring. Technically, my debt's also increasing. Possibly. Now nah, we're good. Look, Chad. I'm just trying to pay off my debt. All right. You gotta do whatever you gotta do out here. It's hard out here, man. It's hard out here. Besides, none of this matters. I can't get chiplets. When do I... When do I get chiplets, man? I haven't received a single chiplet. Where do I get chiplets? How do I buy... <laughs> buh. Buh. Help. Help. Chiplets. LMAO chiplet. Dude, I can't get like perks without chiplets. Everything's already at max level. Aside from my melee weapon, which should be max level. Look, chat, I'm gonna do the right thing here, man. I'm gonna give it all 30,000 of my dollars. Therefore, changing nothing. Okay? Therefore, changing nothing. That covers my interest for one day. Let's just go solve this fucking job. Imagine paying your debt. Hey, at least the meat lord worked. Ow. I Too much rain landed on me. I, I don't want to be wet going to this job. So I'm gonna, I just... Precog's important. We gotta, we gotta keep ourselves as comfortable as, as we can all the time, 24-7. All right, I'm not gonna let myself be an uncomfortable boy when I can rewind time. 
I don't like that. <laughs> Someone shoots at me, I press control and undo it. All right, we are not the same. I mean, what the fuck is all this shit? Heffron. Okay, all you gotta do is find a way to kill Heffron. Any, any final words, Hefron? What? No, I pressed precog! What was that, a tracking bullet? Three million dollars in debt, man. Three million dollars. Three million dollars in debt. That was a tracking missile. I had to hack it. Fucking try it! You can't hack it! Precog. Okay. I summon the Lord of Meat. Fucking kill him. I don't care who that was. Yeah, kill him too. Come on, Lord of Meat. We're going. I pressed precog. It's fine. I'll just let him clean up over there. And then I'll get involved. Once I see the blood stop. Thank you. That was scary. Wow, he killed a lot of people. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that I need to go north because obviously that's where the compass is saying it is. So come along, Lord of Meat. We have received zero data though. That's the problem. That's why we wanna explore a little. Get some data. We have one from that turret. I don't really want Lord of Meat to get chewed up by a turret though. It feels like a waste. I'd rather take him another way. Auxiliary node. I think I can get into this. I'm in. Yeah. Gives me access to outpost node and data node. Cost me zero. Uh, probably best one is to go to the outpost because that sounds like there's going to be more stuff over there. So let's hop to the outpost. And we'll snap to it. We have five things. We can see Janessa and a slug needle in the distance. Okay. Let's move that over there. Uh, I'm gonna go the. I'm gonna hop the data node too. The defense systems are getting a little pissy. But that's okay. Oh yeah, data store and a guy named Kratz and sorry Kratz or. Let's hop to the data store and steal from it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoof though before I do it. Hop, data store, and then we're gonna suck all the data out. Fifteen, okay. I'm gonna hop to Kratzer, and then I'm gonna pilot him. Fuck, snap. We're gonna try to find the data thing using him and farm up a bunch of data while we're doing it. Because everything he sees gives me data. Found it. It don't matter. I already located the device. Palazzo. Matter of fact, I see all of it now. You gave me everything I need, you fools. I'll just take one more trip over there and finish the... Oh, Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck! They're coming down here! We're okay. I think I can just get on Janessa and have them get me to the box now. That seems like the best thing to do. Uh, yeah. This auxiliary node's fucking awesome. Okay. Uh, hop. Ox node. Then hop. Trollson, you be cool, man. I don't want to have to kill you, but I will. Outpost node. 
Then we're gonna hop Vanessa. Oh, hang on. Snap. Then hop. Janessa. Overlord is agitated. I want you gone. Dude, Overlord. Fucking chill. <laughs> I'm just gonna hack into your system and steal all of your data. So, let's see. Befriend, pilot, confuse, kill, sleep, slow. I only need to run Janessa over there for 10 seconds. I think we just do another pilot. Hang on. Move my guy south. Because he can still do that even if I'm not technically uh, able to see him. He's going to run him south enough that he's like out of the danger zone with the meat boy. Oops. He's still technically... I'm moving him. And move him down there. Okay, I'm going to take control of Janessa. I'm going to run them out the door. I'm going to take them to the shareholder server. I'm going to preemptively type in, once I take control, the hop thing. Or I could hop to the camera. If I hop to camera two or camera zero, I think that would also get me there. No, we'll just try to jump it. Or we can go to the comm hub. I don't know why I got attacked before. Uh, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do hop shareholder server because now when I press up, I'll go to it. Now, pilot. Howdy. Fuck. I'm in. Do what you will! You're too late. Janessa was just a fool. I was already in the system all along. I'm already in. They realized too late what was wrong with Janessa. And now they're gonna pay the ultimate price when I spike the system. Oh yeah. Hey, I'll see you later, system defenses, you fucking idiot. You fool. I snap back. Let's get out of here. They're merely nothing but pawns to me, and my financial income is... <coughs> Actually, my debt went up again. You can order combat units into position with the X key. I didn't know that. Nice job! You're proving to be a valuable asset, Smile. I've wired some additional funds to your account, so go nuts! I'll message you again when another mission pops up. Cool! How's my debt? I think I'm just... I think Piss Boy's just gonna take it easy and not pay it anymore. For a little. Just a little. I think we're just gonna skip it. How do I get more chiplets? I need more chiplets. I need more chiplets. What's this? To arms, enemies carry melee weapons instead of guns. The Capo Bianco has asked for an agent to serve as a remote proxy. A payment of 20k will be wired to your account upon completion. What is a control mission? All walls in target location are made out of glass. I can assassinate some guy for the horrifying dominion of the telecephalic. An email said you find chiplets in the field, tomato. Oh, I don't really explore the field because it's so dangerous. I'm going to go assassinate this guy in his glass house. Because that sounds fun. Uh, abilities, jester, hop in here. I think I'm gonna summon a bunch of people from Trauma Team. Look, Lord of Meat is cool, but Trauma Team sounds a little cooler. I'm gonna summon an entire Trauma Team to taser anyone that gets in my way. Let's see how that goes for me. And if it sucks, I'll just pre -caw. Matter of fact, I could test it right now, but I won't. Let's go. Wrong smedge. Don't make me pre -caw. okay? Don't make me press control and undo. 
All right, so apparently this whole place is gonna be glass. Yeah, they weren't bluffing. I got no eyes on anyone. I got eyes on a camera. I still need to see one more thing before I can even hop to them. I got eyes on two cameras. All right, we're gonna hop to that one. Hop. Camera five. Yeah, I'm in. Step. I'm gonna get my guy back into the room below us. Okay. I see some guy named Hames over there. I don't know if he's my target, though. I'm gonna hop over to the camera hub so I can see everything. Hop. Camera hub. Snap. I'm in. Wait. That's over, Lord. <laughs> I see you. I see you, motherfucker. I, I see you. They must think they're so fucking clever. Hop over, Lord. Oh, I need eight data for that. Fuck. Well. I guess I could hop to the orbital beacon. I don't know what that would do for me. Uh, I'm in. Prevents orbital beacon from contacting Black Knight Station. Or I could call a platoon of Black Knights. Well, I have precog. Look, man, here's the thing. I have precog. Let's just go ahead and call a platoon of Black Knights. Black Knights, inbound. I'm calling the ODST to the position. Where, uh, where are they at? Drop pod landing in 10 seconds. Okay. Not yet, they're gonna be. Black Knight. They've arrived. I'm so tired of being five billion dollars in debt and one day the world is going to understand what that means for them all right cameras locked on but I'm gonna go a little deeper all right I'm gonna have to grab that data store hop data store we're gonna suck the data out of this I suck it. 12 data. Chat. I'm going straight for Overlord. Hop camera five. Hop camera hub. Snap. Hop Overlord. Overlord's agitated. Oh yeah? I'm a little agitated too, Overlord. I'm a little agitated, too. Anyways, how about you take it easy? You got me. I'll stop attacking you now. Yeah, damn fucking right you will. Okay. Damn fucking right you will. Hop orbital beacon. Suspend. Suspend. Beacon's off. We're not gonna be getting any more calls from Black Knight Station. Hop. Camera six. Oh, hang on. First, hop camera hub, then camera six. Snap. I see notes. Remember, Chet, we're looking for a guy. 
He's probably closer to me. Hang on, I'm gonna snap back for a second. It says he's right there. Why don't I just run? It's, it's this guy named Fallon. Uh, I'm gonna summon a trauma team to tase him. Get him, boys! Oh, fuck! His bullets are curving! <laughs> this game slaps, dude. This game is so much fun. It's like one of the coolest games I think I've ever played. Unironically, might be one of the coolest games. This is giving me like Cruelty Squad vibes of just like cool game that I'm having fun losing in because it's just really cool. I love it. Oh, 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 I summon the trauma squad. Hey. Hop Fallon. I freeze him. They killed him. Get the fuck out of here. Reloading? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, so tasers are the slow moving ones. Now we know. Tase him, boys! <laughs> Ow. Owie. I was looking for chiplets. They said people said chiplets existed. But where? Hold on, repair quick. What's your name, man? What's your name, man? Reno? Oh, fuck! Wait, what is this? It's okay. We made it out of there. They were calling the Black Knights. Could you take care of some more data recovery for me? Just take the elevator a few floors down and spike a computer for us. Okay. Will do. Piss boy. Trauma team? Absolutely not as good as uh, the Lord of Me. But now I'm kind of thinking that maybe taking... I'm going to try out this one. All my friends are dead mixed with Kiss X. Because if I can kiss... The... Chat. I have a scheme. Okay. I have a big scheme. And it's called... What if I summon the Black Knights? And I kiss them and force them to join my side. Then I have the strongest warriors in the game. Piss boy is now kiss boy. What can I say, man? What can I say? What can I say? Any good stuff to buy? Really, no. I'm just gonna buy a new grenade. Blast high cook time. I love the idea of a massive radius blast for my grenade. The largest we can do. So I'm going to get the encephalatic mini vet purchase. It's already equipped. And for a melee weapon. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I could go for this enormous uh, fucking broadsword named shoot. Yeah. I purchase shoot. Let's get out of here. <laughs> this fucking thing. <sighs> yeah. All right, we just have to spike the computer. Simple as that. It's not a big map. Don't got eyes on anybody. Don't have eyes on anything at all. 
Equip the broadsword. Got eyes on a camera. Camera three. Got eyes on two cameras. Hop. Camera two. Yeah. Snap. Get myself back in the corner. Don't got eyes on very much so far. Hop. Camera hub. Snap. Who the hell's this clown? Sharf? Hop. Sharf. I'm in. Yes. I'm gonna snap back for now. And do some more exploring. But we're in control of Sharf when the time comes. Is that Sharf? No, Sharf's still... Get the fuck out of- My weapon is bouncing again! How'd I die? My weapon started- Hold up! Oh my god! this game, dude. It's never gonna happen twice. SLG, I repeat, we are out of SLG. Hop to camera zero. Hop, camera hub. Fuck, I don't have enough. Oh, we got enough now. Hop to camera hub. The fuck just happened to me? Did it just unload? Did you just unload my fucking weapon? All right, Skeggs. Can't do anything with you yet. I'm gonna hop to camera one. Just try to trying to build up data. Four from here. I see a data store. All right, we got data store right there. Hop to the data store. And we're gonna suck out the data. Perfect. Suck. I want you gone. Yeah. <laughs> I want you gone too, motherfucker. Okay. Caps lock. Hop back to camera one. Hop back to camera hub. Actually, do I have to go to camera hub or can I go straight to camera four? No, I have to go to hub first. Punishment will. I got blind spots. What do you mean blind spots? How bad can that be? Hang on, snap back. What the fuck does that mean? I mean, I'll probably be scrubbing myself soon anyways here. The room that has the data is by turret one. So we gotta go to camera zero. Uh, camera hub. We gotta go to camera zero. It's definitely in that room right there. Literally spots on your screen you can't see. Oh my god, you're fucking right. That's not that bad, though. Snap. Oh, fuck. If that guy was alive, I'd be okay. Well, look, here's the thing. I can't see turret one from here, but I do know how I can see it. Hop. Camera hub. We're gonna go to camera hub. And once we're here, we're gonna hop to turret hub. Warning, I'm getting a warning. The um, system defenses is very uh, cross with me right now. They are upset. They are not having a good time. They're actually shaking. 
They're telling me to leave now. Uh... Fuck you. System defenses. You suck. Well, I don't even need to do that. I want you gone, Smadge! And now that we have... Now that we're in turret hub, we actually know there's actually a turret in there. So we're gonna hop to turret two. Okay. I hate you! Shut up! Snap! Well, well, well. If it isn't Overlord himself. <laughs> Anyways, I pilot. I pilot the turret. Reloading. Nice aim, bozo. What's up, guys? Nice aim, idiots. Bang. Ow. This isn't looking good. So I hack into him. Snap. Reloading! <laughs> 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 Shareholder Server There we go, he peeked it for me Thank you What was your name again? Halper? Thanks for the help, man And snap It's as simple as that, baby And I spike it And I snap back And I'm out of here, baby Simple as fucking that Simple as that, thanks for the help Idiot How's my debt doing? <laughs> so anyways, I went over to my computer and I checked my tip of the day. Grenades bypass cover. Careful, they'll explode if they catch a bullet. Cool. Great work on the data recovery. I've wired a little money to your account. I'll be sending you up against more powerful foes soon, so be sure to keep upgrading your equipment. Sometimes when you do a mission for me, I'll increase the level of items in the shop. Go check now for more expensive stuff. Whoa. They followed through on what they said. Weapons now cost $20,000. Oh my god. Okay, right on, right on. <coughs> right on, right on. I would like something with even more ego. So I kind of want to switch to Levo Rotary Tory Pecker. So we can have 13 ego. And then I would like a new gun. Bullet. But hang on, what's this? This is a sleep bullet. High accuracy, low mag cap, high reserves. I would love to sleep someone so I can actually take control of them once they're passed out. I think we want that. I think we want to try a sleep weapon. That leaves me with 15K. I'm gonna hop into my wardrobe because I've changed my mind. I actually want my guy to look like uh, cryptocurrency. I want my guy to look like crypto. Yeah. I want my guy to look like some kind of weird Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I really want him to look like a big cinnamon roll. I want him to look like a big, I want him to look like he's wearing a funny hat though. He's kind of what I, kind of what I want him to do. I want him to look like he's wearing this kind of silly hat. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Ooh! I got sent a code to a game. That I'm interested in. When am I allowed to stream this? <sighs> like a week from now. Never mind. Scorn 2? Yeah, it's a sequel to Scorn. Lock this in? Oh, I never even upgraded that. Lock it in. Delock this other crap. My melee weapon needs help. And you know what would really help it, I think, the most is if it got upgraded to do more damage. There we go. <laughs> oh, now, this is an epic weapon. Now, this right here is an epic weapon. Oh, wait, I haven't taken a job. Okay. Uh, well, we have no real job. Chat. <gasps> All we have to do. All we have to do is take a job from the Clattery Convicts. They want me to collect a flag from a heavily guarded compound. Enemies will see you once the flag is taken. A payment of 50k will be wired to your account upon completion of this mission. Will you accept this mission? Ah, uh, fuck no. I'm gonna do an assassination job for the un -SH swordfish. Okay. No, I can't handle fighting. Yeah, right. But I will take an assassination mission now. Let's roll. Look at the cone on this sleep. That's one of my guys. Oh, fuck! I have a button that lets me not die. And I don't press it literally ever. And then I die. I can end precognition every time something sees me. But instead of doing that, I say, oh, fuck, and try to melee kill him with a gun. Every time. Every time. I just threw my grenade by accident and almost killed myself. We're just gonna unprecog that. Just gonna get that one out of here. Whoa! He lived! Precog! <sighs> oh fuck! He saw me. Precog. You better pray to God you kill me before this fucking broadsword reaches your neck! He lived. Ah! I have an idea. Friend. Now he'll kill himself. They're both my friends. I hit them both with it. I've got two buddies now. All right, buddies. Here's the situation. All right, you fools. This is how it's gonna go down. We need more friends. Take a look at the system. What kind of map are we? It's a whole fucking complex. What's your names? Kaminiti and Atha. Atha's gotta die by the end of this. Kaminiti, you can stay. Let's hop on that teleporter. Actually, let's hop in the node. Hop. Node zero. What? I wasn't close enough. Hop node zero. Yeah. Hop node one. Snap. This was a not a good room. A oh, fucking orbital beacon. Hop orbital beacon. 
snap. Okay. All right. Which gets us to node three. Um, I could summon the... What was that sound? Snap back! Thought I heard something. They died. Guys? 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 No. Ah! You're gonna be my new friend. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> the dead! The nurse! 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 Nurse, the dead nurse! Please! Just let me die! Just let me die already. No! Hop! At the... I'm gonna have to kill him. I pressed the wrong thing. I meant to kiss him to begin with. We do. Whoa, whoa, wee, whoa. That guy's got some fast bullets. These sleep bullets suck. They're not great. <laughs> no one. Look, the point is, the real problem is um nothing. I did it right that time. You're my buddy now. Now kill that guy. Get the fuck out of here. Whoop! This gun and weapon sucks! So this is how it's gonna be. Reload it. Level five mission, huh? Go ahead and do a little undo again. The debt fucking rises. I'll tell you what. The debt fucking rises. Yep, just gonna go ahead and precog that one too. Gonna go ahead and do a little bit of precog. <laughs> Guys, come back. Oh, fuck. They're killing everyone. Hop. Node zero. We got one guy dead. Yeah. We just need to... We just need to get even stronger. That's all. That's a turret. See enough data to start the process. If I just had one more ego, I could bring my... Two more ego, I could bring my friends back. But alas, we can't. All right, we have to kill everyone without ever leaving this room now. Hop. Salinas. I could get, if I could hop a ride on Salinas. Snap. If Salinas, I could trick Salinas to coming in here. Why are they getting so close to me? Come on. Come on! Got him! Do your stupid wandering now, you idiot. Soak up data for me. With your friends. Yeah, give me all the data I require. Go on. Maybe you should go up north. Okay, there's one. Okay, there's another. They're getting me stuff. They're, they're doing their job. Might have to hop on Ledger though. Ledger's the one that's going up. Well, you see, I could also just go ahead and, you know, 
pilot them and run them up. I don't really care if they die after, as long as I get more than three. If they go up much farther north, I'll do it. Huge. Damn it. Go back to that. All right. Cool. I'm legally in that now, and I'm just going to kill someone with this guy. As fast as I can before it goes off. Fuck out of here. Yeah, call whoever you want. Yeah, it's going to matter. Because I was never there at all. I'm here sucking out the data. 16 data. Access to maintenance hub as well. Hop. Mate. Hub. We're in. I want you gone. You don't really mean that. Reduce the maximum armor of enemies to one. I... The punishment was position compromised. The uh, overlord uh, tattled on me. The overlord tattled? Did the overlord tattle and I missed it? Did the overlord succeed in wanting me gone and therefore I had to get gone? He docks to me. I won't rest until overlord on this map is fucking dead. I'll tell you what. Come over here. Just come down here. We got both. Huge. Okay. We've got these two buddies. I need to collect some data. Okay. We got the two. I'm gonna hack into the door and then we're gonna stand in that fucking room with these two guys and they will protect me. Okay, got, got, got the stuff I can get easy. So I'm just gonna hop. I'm gonna hop into the camera hub, actually. I think that's the best one to do. Alright, yeah. come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Guys, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Everyone in here. Tell them to go here and here. They will follow my orders. They'll go where I tell them to. I want them to cover that fucking door. And if anyone goes near me, fucking kill them. All right, here we are. We got four data right now. We're going to hop to camera hub. Overlord. <laughs> Overlord. There's plenty of cameras, Overlord. Oh, I'll find you, Overlord. Where are you at, Overlord? You can't hide. Eventually, I'll hunt you down and I'll hunt down your friend. And I'll kill you, Overlord. I'm gonna go to camera eight. Shit. Hub, then camera eight. Punishment. He hasn't done anything yet. He's gotta be in this room. So here's what we're gonna do. Back to camera hub. Then to camera one. I think what we do is we get and learned. We pilot him into this room. He's gotta be in this room. Overlord's either in this room or that room. I think I wanna pull learned up. Blind spots. Who cares? I, I I actually care. That's a really bad one. Wait, wait, hang on. No, it's not that bad. We're okay. Confused pilot, my friend. Sleep. We want to pilot him. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh. Cool. 
We need more time. We need more time. Oh, oh there's Overlord. Hop repair station. Fuck. They got me about one half second before I put in the command. But now I see all. I see all, Overlord. You may have severed my connection from the hole, but now I see all. You think you're gonna be able to get away with it now that I know the path? <laughs> Well, all I gotta do is get back inside the camera system and you're as good as dead. Then we'll see who's laughing. He 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 ha ha. Then we'll all see. Yeah. Then we'll all see. Back to the camera hub. Yeah. Get ready, Overlord. Here I come. Here I... Here I come. I'm about to... I'm about to really fuck you up. Snap. You're lucky I can't see anything here. I gotta get to... Cammy keeps like wandering around. I gotta get to them. Hop. Camera one. Snap. Snap. Hop. Fuck! Misspelled their name at first. They're coming back. UI disruption. Whatever, man. Disrupt my UI. Fucking try it. What does that even mean for me? Give me some, give me some visuals. I need one more data. I need one more data. And then I can get into Overlord and finish this. No ammo counter. I only have one bullet in the mag. Okay, if it doesn't shoot, you reload it. Yes. Open the door. Open the door, Cammy. Open the door to the Overlord's room now. Go, shouldn't you check on Overlord? What if they're not okay? Don't you think that would be a smart thing to check? You should head on up to the repair station. <laughs> I hate you! Oh yeah? <laughs> Why don't you sleep on that? Why don't you go ahead and sleep on it? <laughs> now then. Still have no idea where the fuck the person is I'm trying to find. Uh, hop back to camera hub. For now. Still trying to find someone. Let's hop to node three. Oh, whoops. I meant to say. Uh, I'm at camera hub. I gotta find a way to link this to node. Oh, wait. I don't even need to. Uh, snap back. We have a node. Hop. Node zero. Snap. And then we can go, uh, I think to node one. It's just one there. Then we can go node two. then gets us to note three. 
and we snap to that, I can't see it. <laughs> when we get, I was trying to get to that thing called lock, but I'm not sure I can. Uh, I'll have to scrub it first. I'll have to scrub my, my viruses that I have because I can't actually see it. I I didn't actually think this would ever be a problem. Turns out it is. Turns out it's a big problem. I uh mechanically we are fucked. I'm going to see if it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Unlocks the master computer preventing hopping. Unlock Uh, I think that gave me access to everything in the whole map. That or maybe I could have used this to skip dealing with system defenses? Well, uh, hop to turret hub. I mean... I can't tell if this guy named Furnace is my target because he's in my fucking blind spot. I can't tell if this guy's the guy or not because he's in the fucking blind spot. He's there. I can see. Looks like I'm going to have to take matters into my own hands. I need eight data in order to kill everyone with these turrets. I need eight data. Fuck. Which buildings have I not explored? I've explored every... Did I ever suck that? <laughs> I sucked that. Well, we're gonna do the responsible thing and disable every turret. That felt really good. That felt really good to do. Now I'm gonna hop. I just wanna see if this is my guy. Turret seven. Fuck, I'm in short one. Well, we pretty much know where everyone in the whole map is now. Uh, I'm gonna hop to turret eight. I just wanna check. I can't even hop. Okay, we're gonna snap back. I think I just have to go look around. The turrets are all disabled. I could soak up a... Easy, man, easy. Where are my guys? Where are my guys? Where are my guys? Where are my guys? The blind spot! The fucking blind spot, bro. The blind spot right now? Fuck out of here. Alright guys, please kill that guy. Someone's winning. Someone's losing. I'm hiding. <laughs> I don't see my friends anymore, which means they lost. What is that transmission sound? They're not calling the Black Knights. <laughs> they can't. That they can't. They can't call the Black Knights. There's no Black Knight calling station. Oh, fuck. Ledger, be cool. I'm out of data, and this sleep gun was the worst fucking choice of my entire life. What do I fucking do? I don't have much more slug left. <laughs> oh, my best bet is to somehow hack one of them. There's so many people. But I think I know where everyone is now. I'm going to take my... I'm going to go for it. Reloading. 
Best chance I have is to sleep someone then immediately switch to melee and cut them up as fast as possible. Only chance I have. And be like super active checking my map constantly. Witness, what's witness? Get to the, get to the far corner. What is this? View, expand view through walls. Oh my God. I can see everything. Right at the top corner here. How much data do I have? Seven. I'm one off from being able to activate every turret to kill everyone on the map. I have everything act already to do it. I can do the jump to it. I just need to see one fucking thing. Everyone's in there, dude. What is this? I think there's a camera up here I haven't seen. Get it? Got it. We're gonna follow the perimeter back around. We need to get back to the turret hub. We're gonna sick every single turret on these motherfuckers. It's the best chance we have of making it out of here alive. Oh fuck. They don't know. How did I get through here before? Do they know? They don't know. They didn't know. Thread the needle through here. Okay, I have to actually follow my- I have to retrace my steps. You know who would have made this a lot easier? Uh, Meat Lord. <laughs> the Meat Lord would have made this a lot easier. Okay, I know I hacked Node Zero. Okay. I'm gonna get back into this hole. I'm gonna get back into my spooky zone. Snap, hop, node one, snap, and we hop to node two. This is so, there's so many lines now. Snap, once we got to there, we can then go all the way, we didn't do maintenance hub. It was a camera I fucking hacked, which one was it? Was it camera two? I think it was camera two. I need a camera. The camera's how I got there. And then there was a turret in the middle that I used. Okay. Oh, fuck! Please! No! WHO IS THIS GUY?! How did you completely miss him? Because the melee weapon is awful! Because it's a BAD MELEE WEAPON! I... I'm not giving up, man. I don't care how much debt I accrue. Okay. I don't fucking care. You two are with me. We know the paths. We know all the map now. We know where the data store is. We know how to do everything. Everything. Guys, why are you attacking that turret? Promise these guys act like psychos. Well, they beat the turret. I mean, I need this guy dead eventually. The problem is I'm gonna get like five people showing up now. Yeah. Alright, we 
hopped it. I'm gonna go back over here. Wait a minute, what am I... If I get enough data, I can hop into this guy, pilot my friend... Maybe I can... Can I hop into him without... Like, if he's already my friend? It still costs money. But... Technically, I'm in his character now. So I can steer it. All I need to do is get him up to data. Because there's a data box here. It's going to get really goofy. I'm going to try something new. Why? Why? Dude, it didn't save my... It didn't save my fucking input. Uh, that I had in before. So I couldn't hop to the data store. But I think that's actually how we do this. Hang on. I'm a, this is, this is kind of galaxy brain. This is, this is kind of like beefy, like powerful brain idea. I, I think this might be like the beefiest powerful brain idea I could possibly have. We friendly these two. Okay. I soak up some data. Tell them not to fuck with that guy. Just soaking up as much data as physically possible. We tell these guys to patrol there. We already have six data. Either way, at the needs to die. So I'm gonna hop into at the. Yeah. I'm gonna snap. Them. I'm gonna tell these two to gun it, ignoring the turret past them. They won't ignore the turret. They're dead. That's frustrating. I wish they would actually listen to my commands. Well, doesn't really set me back as far as it seems like it should, uh, because uh, we're just gonna hop straight into turret six. I just need to get back into this corner as soon as I do it so I don't get caught by that one guy that lurks around. Uh, snap. Because this will get me back to the hub. Oh, wait, I might not be able to get into the turret hub. Please unlock the following vanguards to enable hopping. Oh, I see. So turret hub is locked. You have to actually get to it. Okay, that's cool to know. I'm gonna hop to camera two. Because this will get me a shit ton of data. Uh, hop. Camera hub. <sighs> Once I have one more. SB. I think I can just get some if I peek this fucking hole right here. Yep, there we go. Beep, beep. What are you gonna do? Tell on me? System defenses? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up now. Oops. Snap. Okay, so we're gonna soak up a bunch by going to uh, camera one. Camera one's big. I'm still not in trouble. Okay, then we want to go to, then we want to snap back, uh, back to the hub, and we want to hop to camera 10, which is like fucking absolutely covered in like stuff. There we go. Uh, then we want to do, I, I think I want to hop to witness next, because that gives me vision for everything in the whole area. Uh, UI disruption. I don't care. <laughs> Who asked? Activate view. I'm going to hop to witness so I can actually see. And then snap. Okay. We're at 10 already. I could get to the lock. 
And we could almost access the whole turret thing now and kill everyone on the map. No health bar. Don't worry, guys. I already know my health bar. It's one. <laughs> my health bar is one. As in, if I get hit one, then I die. And everything hit one. Everything hit one. So what we want to do here is go... Okay. We want to get... We need to get to the lock to unlock the turret hub. We know this. Hmm, I think I want to hop back to the camera. And back to the hub. Snap. Uh, and then I want to go to... Hmm. I don't think there's anything up by camera seven. So I wouldn't gain anything. I need like a tiny bit more resource. Uh... I think best thing now is for me to actually go to uh, go around because we know I can do that. I need a way to get into the lock, and I think there's technically a hub way to do it with the nodes. So we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for the node. I could technically also bring my friends back, but I don't want to do it until after I've um. After I've done, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I can get in. So now we hop to node three. My weapon unloaded. The one bullet in it got thrown out. Snap. Hop, lock. Chad, I'm about to kill everyone on the fucking map. Movement reversed. Whatever, I'm not gonna need to move once I kill you all. Unlock! Hop! Turret! Hub! Your time to die, bitch! Oh fuck, they really did reverse my controls. Oh no. Your time to die. That my controls are fucked. Chad, if I can, if I get attacked, I'm absolutely doomed. Snap. No, not snap. Snap. Well, well, well. What have we here? The second target. I befriend every turret on the entire map. Best of luck, boys. You'll have to kill every single one. Well, this turret's kind of... Simple as that. Time to go. Ugh. Well, that was a productive day. We're walking out with $54,000 in my wallet. Thanks, Chode Dodger 69 for the five gifted subs. Really, I need all the gifted subs I can get because, um... Oh, oh god. Oh no, 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 no! 12 million dollars? Almost 13 mil? It used to be one mil. We don't go in there anymore. Your debt has grown at an alarming rate. Please pay off your debt as quickly as possible to avoid accruing additional interest. You can make payments towards your debt via the banking program on your personal employee desktop. Uh, I just pretend to not see this. Besides, ams114.inf at yyd.inc sounds like a fucking spam address. That's nothing. Hey, loser. I handle the advanced missions here. A group of hackers is interfering with our affairs. Head to their safe house and put them down. The hand. This says it's not gonna pay me, and it's from a guy at the email xxxhandler at bizmail.com. <laughs> is this? 
Uh, is this real? Hang on, let me check what the real email is. Oh, we're also... Oh, okay, the actual... My actual boss's email is qxconcierge at bizmail.com. Hey, hon, I have an exciting one for you today. We spotted one of our stolen servers on a high-velocity train. Be careful not to fall off while you work your way to the target. Uh, I'm gonna go, uh, do the train one because it's an easier mission. You got it, piss boy. Chat, I really need chiplets. I really... Really need chiplets now. I've also decided I like the Lord of Meat more than friends. Hey, Mega Zarax, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. I also decided I need a better weapon. Both of them. Both weapons. I need better ones. Let's see, high recoil, multiple projectiles, low mag cap, shoots a rocket. Well, how's the accuracy? A little bit higher. I'll escalate, buy it, fuck it. I just need a better weapon. Let's see, that swings a quarter, half, quarter, half, half, quarter. Uh, I'm gonna get this, this lethal spice. It's gotta be better than what I was using. That's so confusing. Okay, well, I can figure it out. And the gun? That'll do. That'll do. Does it hit walls? It definitely hits walls. It all hits walls. All right, I'm here to take out a, a train, I believe. How fast is this thing going anyways? Fourteen million in debt now. Now that's fourteen mil in debt. Very cool. Well, look, here's the thing. I have the Lord of Meat to help me if stuff gets really bad. I see a guy named Romberg over there. He's about to catch these fucking hands. Simple as that. We got nodes outside. All right. Hop. Node. Bridge. Ek. Yeah. Snap. We'll do everything on this fucking tr train from the bathroom. Okay? We're gonna do everything on this train from the bathroom. Hop. Node. Util. We're in. Snap. Okay, this, this utility node has not been very helpful, but maybe there's something I can do with it. Nodes are merely messengers, they can't do anything. Okay, that was a waste of my time then. Go back to bridge access. Node. Hop. Wait, but I already have, hang on, just, just snap back. Just play, everyone here is dead. What is this anyways? The breaker? I don't need the breaker now. <coughs> Reload on ammo. Repair, we don't need to. Uh. All right, Lord of Meat. Fucking kill that guy for me. Kill that guy for me, Lord of Meat! Kill that fucker! Matter of fact, kill them all! And I'd summon another, okay? Because I wanna win. Why don't you guys go in there and kill everyone in there? Why don't you guys just- why don't we just walk through this one? Come on, boys. Now kill those idiots. Now kill them all. 
for me. Now kill that guy too. And I'm gonna shoot a rocket in there. I'm gonna reload. Now kill that guy. Yeah. All right, thanks guys. Let's roll. I can say with confidence, everyone in this entire train is dead. At least the ones that matter. You guys go on in there and kill everyone. Yeah, just like that. Oh fuck, they're dead. Uh, all my friends are dead, but I can't use, I don't have the ego to bring them back. But I do have 15 data. How much longer is this? Oh fuck. <laughs> I might've been playing a little too, uh, a little too trigger happy on this one. But, uh, you tell me this turret ain't locked to anything? You tell me this is just some fucking turret. Well, I'm gonna turn it off so I can go through. <sighs> I guess I should figure out what these breakers do. This is, this says breaker lock. I think this is like the turrets protecting the breaker lock. Easy. I'm gonna hack into this. Oh, Overlord's agitate. You're earth trespassing. I've unlocked all the breakers. Okay, I need to figure out a way to like see what's going on. There's, this has got to be something. This like side room is like a, it's like a, yeah, the fact that this was locked here, there's got to be something about this. Uh, I'm going to hop into this. They unloaded my weapon. Fuck, I don't care. Huh. Nope. It was just something to keep you from progressing farther this way. There's gotta be something that lets me hop to the next part of the map without getting totally owned. You know what I mean? There's gotta be. Let's figure out what these breakers do. I'm gonna hack into this one even though it feels like a waste. Toggle, flip the lights on and off. When off, units are stealth. Okay. Well, I need to fucking actually see what's in here, but there's no... Uh -huh. Conger. Uh -huh. Can't see anything else. It's just him. Conger. Uh, okay. This fucking sucks. I have no way to get pet. This guy's just a fucking big old wall for me but I have an idea was really banking on the first rocket killing that guy anyways I'm out of ammo and that guy has a fucking broadsword I have an advantage in an enclosed space And I have more reach. Bah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he realized the second I walked into that hallway, he didn't stand a goddamn chance. <clears throat> like I'm crazy enough to go in the fucking front door? Yeah, right. That's how this has been going for me lately. Oh, no. Oh, no. He fell! The Pozo fell! He fell off the train! There's another guy right there. The idiot fucking fell! Hang on. 
Give me this. How much ammo does this have? This shoots chonk rounds. I don't know what that means, but it's gotta be better than using a melee weapon on a fucking bridge like this. I can see a turret. If I can see a turret, I can access everything else on this fucking map. Let's go. Hop. Turret. Two. Evac. Position compromised. I have to scrub. I have to scrub. Let's get out of here. They can't still know where I am. I scrubbed. Yeah, I'm clean now. Where the fuck are these people? Okay. Door to the cabin. Door breaker access. Do I have to... Is it not that easy? Hang on. Uh, hop. Well, either way, this turret has to have something done to it. Uh, we're gonna befriend this one. Turret befriended. <laughs> this fucking game. Okay. Uh, hop. Door cab. Unseal. Not seeing anything else. We know there's a guy right there. I think he's sealed in this room though. If I can get that ammo station, I could grab my rockets. There might still be a guy alive, like in this area. I need to be really careful. Must be real. Oh, that's nothing. So he's technically right here. Why don't I just not bother him? He's sealed in. Hey. Not seeing anything. Okay. Uh. I'd like to go grab my actual gun again. In that case. Since I can reload it. Here it is. Okay. We're going to reload this at the ammo station. And hopefully we can somehow manage to beat this level. <laughs> reload it. Give me more ammo. Cool. Okay, this is the last room. I really fucked up, but here's what I'm thinking. I have 10 data. I have a turret that likes me. I technically control this choke as long as I have access. As long as I'm technically... Oh, hang on. Hang on. I didn't even see that. Just see it. Holy shit. That's elusive. Hop to this. I can stealth myself in this. Darkness engaged. What the fuck was that? Oh, they hit the lights. Well, it didn't help them. Anyways, I'll be turning those back off now. All right, we just keep doing that. That guy's next. Did he not follow me? Okay, I don't know if he's in the room with me right now. Oh, fuck! He was in the room. <laughs> I didn't see him follow me. Hit the lights. Well, that's the spot. Hop. Shareholder server. Spike it. We got it. Let's go. Wait, this part's kind of dangerous. Oh, 
The light turned back on. I didn't tell it to, but it did. All right, we just have to go back now. Retrace our steps without falling off of anything. Let's just go. That was a fun level. Goodbye, my meat boys. You did well. You did as well as you could, all things considered. Ah! Oh, that's just a camera. I killed a lot of people on this train. Okay. It's as simple as that, baby. Still no chiplets. Still no chiplets? The debt has increased? Yeah, but how much, though? By how much, though? Tip of the day, drink lots of water. Nice! Great job on the train heist. You look so cool out there. Payment should have hit your account by now. I'll have something new for you tomorrow. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do the thing for the hand now, I guess. Sounds good. Piss boy. Oh, I actually get to keep the guns I find. That's cool. I never use the grenades, dude. I really should, because I'm pretty sure this thing actually can do some good stuff. Although I didn't see that actually do anything. It kind of just disappeared. Does it hurt me? What does this thing fucking do? Does it just... Wait, oh, oh, it's a support grenade. I can use it to always know where stuff is outside of my lines of sight. That's much better than I realized. So I can toss it like in a room and damn, that would have been really helpful to know at any point before now. Anyways. Oh, this is a small map, so I just have to kill all the little hacker idiots in here? Okay. Lord of Meat, Lord of Meat. Arise, my brothers, arise. There's some hackers in this building that we need to kill. So if you'd be so kind as to join me. Over there. Yeah, go right through that window. Someone just walked in there. Oh, it's close. Fuck out of here. I'm drowning! I'm drowning! Delivery nerd! I'm in. I've hacked into the delivery node. <laughs> this gives me direct access to the fridge. I'm in. And through this, I can access XX Pingu XX. <laughs> I'm in their smart fridge. I'm in the Samsung fridge. With this, I can see what was on their menu. They were eating bread pudding and thousand layer apple tarts. Unfortunately, now they will be eating none of those things. Because I will be eating them first. The apple tart devoured. The green tea ice cream devoured. The bread pudding feasted upon. Pathetic. Then I hopped to camera one. Snap. Yes. 
And I hop. Camera. Hop. Burr, burr. Snap. Did I just hear the sound of someone shooting at me? The fuck is this ball? I'm getting out of here. That thing's scaring me. Sorry, are you a Roomba? All right, I'm putting you down. The fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't trust that. Hop camera zero. Snap. Oh my god, that's cart driver. And roundabout. All these little idiots. They're all walking around doing their weird little things. They have no idea. Pingu just shattered the glass in their room. This is the hardest hack I've ever done because I have to manually type this all properly. I'm in. So it looks like I've got the full list of boys now. There's shopping log, Helk, Fumaf, Uwu, XX Pingu XX, Roundabout, and Cart Driver. I found their overlord. There's also a room over here. They're all leaving. What the hell are they doing? Why are they leaving this system? Soak up a little bit more data. Go on. Go on, XX Pingu. Why don't you walk over there? If I could just get a little more data, I could hack Overlord right away. Or I could just kill them all. Probably wouldn't be too hard. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Well, I have an idea. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to confuse this one. And thus, two people were removed from the game instantly. In a gruesome trade-off with slow-moving projectiles. Two best buddies, dead forever. Let's roll. I'm going to summon my Lords of Meat now. Let's go. Send them over. They'll kill without me being involved. Get them! Kill Fumafa Wu as well! There's only one survivor left. Helk. Everyone else is dead. Hell. Come out to play. Yeah. Help. Hell's this? A chiplet. We finally got one, baby. Help's coming. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking kill him. Wait, my objective was just in this closet. Wow, I thought I had to kill all these guys. I was wrong. Oh, fuck. Oh, they did it. Oh no, this is a shower. Well, I'm gonna go. You guys have a good one. I don't even know what I had to do. I just killed everyone. I did not get paid for that. 
to my knowledge. And my debt increased. I better get something. Looks like you cleaned up that mess. No reward this time. Continue to prove your dedication. Maybe I'll reward you next time. But... But I did the job. But... But, sir, I did the job. At least I got a chiplet. You know, chat, that's, a, that's what it's really about. At least I got a chiplet, which means I can unlock a perk finally. <laughs> Do I just... Chat? Your damage is absorbed by your wallet at a rate of 1,000%. Damage is taken normally when wallet is empty. Do I just spend my chiplet to unlock the ultra debt perk, which lets me live as long as I have money? Or kick deals your max speed and damage, but costs one ego. This is the only one. We're getting the real-time insurance perk. Fuck it, man. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm going to be super powerful. You don't understand, baby. You guys don't get it. Kevin in the woods. We're tracking another server somewhere way out in the boonies. I don't like sending agents on missions like this, but we're really in a bind here. Take a flight there and spike it for me, okay? Yeah, sure. You got it, piss boy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll do that. For sure, for sure. There shouldn't be any problem with this chat. We should be really pretty much good to go on this one. What the hell is that? No, what the hell is this, though? Wait, what? Pop. HB0. What is this? Sets the helipod as your spawn point. But, hi pumpkin, your target should be in the garage, search a house for locks, protecting it, spike this one. I'm confused about why this helipad has like a thing. All right, well, it's just a spooky cabin. That's not a cabin, that is a mansion. Well, now you've given us this node for a reason, no doubt. You should probably take advantage of it. We should probably take advantage of the mansion because I'm going to guess the front door is fucked. Oh, there's a node right there. Right, we'll use this node. Which has access to nothing. Okay. Gamer playtime. Shut! Fucked up with the throw on that one. I can't snap back. You have no idea how much insurance I have. Where'd he go? Okay, these grenades also didn't really do what I wanted. They diminish over time. Oh, right there. I just have to fucking murder him. Ah! 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 What the mother of God! Ow! Lords of me! Lords of me! The lords of me, help me! Help me! The fuck was that thing? Fuck you! Yeah, you fucked up. You wanna know why? Cause my lords of me are way stronger than your stupid creepy dog. Yeah, right. Your pet alligators got nothing on my lords of the meat. I bet I could take this one myself. Wait, I literally could. Man, this place ain't shit. <laughs> this part of the map, 
Now this place ain't fucking shit. Now where the hell that garage at? Where my server at? Now I just realized this place. Oh fuck! Help! God! 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 Help! Oh, oh, oh fuck! There's a ton of them over there. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? I think all my lords of meat are dead. My money! He stole $10,000 out of my pocket! I could precog. Fuck out of here. Hop, data store. Suck, you have 16. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna replenish my slug. If Precog gives you money back, then it's pretty strong. Yeah, I mean, it was already pretty strong though. Look, it's just, I don't need it. We're gonna be, oh my God. Did they just do crack? Hey, fuck off. Hey, fuck off. Get ready to catch my ice pick. Shot. I pressed control by accident. But did it give me my money back? It does not. Chat, no amount of precognition can overcome the insurance companies of the, of the world. No amount of precognition can undo that which the insurance company bills upon you. None. Monetary loss transcends time. And I lost everything. I lost everything. It's all gone. Explain what you are to me, you freaks! Go ahead and summon a lord of meat here. Yet that guy just ate $1,500. Why are there so many of you? Fuck off! It's so hard to aim this fucking pick. That's the problem. I just want to know what they are. And where's the garage? This looks like a garage to me. That's a garage, all right. How? God. I'll tell you what. I know who killed me and who didn't. And I know who, I know I got caught in the crossfire of a uh, meat boy. Uh, a meat boy, a meat boy killed me, as a matter of fact. All the way through my perk. And now, I am a poor. Your debt doesn't give a shit who kills you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, at least there's less creatures inside these houses. Get the fuck out of here. I need to secure these hallways to the slug machine. All right, there's a data pack in here. We're going to claim it. Oh, fuck! No one say anything. Everyone just shut your mouths. Fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. Hop. Cool, cool, cool. All right, everything I need secured is secured. Hop. Data store. Not data store, data store. Not who data store. Hop data store. Suck. I'm in. It's time to play the game. Yeah, I got cover. Huh. I wasn't expecting that. 
But that works. But now I can't hop to where I wanted to hop. The washer. This is how we activate. This is how we do it. Hop washer. Help remote. I'm going to tell my two meat lords to sit right here by the washer dryer. Defend me! Do something! <laughs> Do something! My children, I start the washer dryer. Office station. Hop. Oh. Office station. I see you. I see you, idiot. Help. Docs. Sure. What do we have? Response. Read. Response. Dot text. Good work. Once the horde calms down, we'll we'll attempt to collect the tissue sample. Wait, what? Uh, read. Excursion. Dot text. Two agents have taken a car to the southeast structure, keeping an eye on the promised meat lord. Oh, you guys are meat lords. These are like your little brothers, then. Oh. Oh. This is getting out of hand. The turret's still alive. Dude, chill. Dude. Chill. Dude, chill. Hop. Turret five. Oh, they unloaded my gun. That's fine. I'm using a melee weapon, idiot. Okay. Uh, does turret five have a connection to... Wait, what? Wait, but, 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 the, but, but I thought it was, no. So anyways, with my 21 data, I took a hop on all the way over to the turret hub on the other side of the entire fucking superstructure. Uh, let's hop on in there. Go ahead and snap to that. How much more map is there after that, huh? Huh? You freaking liars. You little deceivers. You little rascals. The fuck is this shit? So you're telling me this whole map is infested by uh, these creatures? Well, first thing I'm going to do is uh, befriend all of them. Go on, boys. Kill each other. I've caused mayhem and turmoil. The transmissions are going out. People are panicking. The washer dryer is washer drying. And I am about to hop to Tressa. Beep, beep. Boop, boop, beep, beep, beep. There's a lot of mayhem. Just gotta find... Just gotta let one of these guys walk by me. Just waiting for one of them to do it. Tressa? Come on, a little higher. God damn it, they really just aren't doing it. I need one of them a tiny bit higher so I can get them in line of sight. Got him. My weapon fired. But I don't think there's anyone around to attack me. Plus, I have turrets covering my... Overlord! Got it! Oh. Uh... 
it's bad out there. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's bad. Should I disable? Overlord, maybe we should work together on this one. Uh, it's bad. There's like a shit ton of those zombies. Anyways. Go to sleep. I have nine things to do. I might hop to the base station. The beeping chat, every time it beeps, that's combat initiating somewhere on the map. This place is a fucking war zone. I made this place a war zone. The bleeder is sleeping in the backyard. We've relocated to the office for now. Is the bleeder perhaps what's creating this transmission problem? Is the bleeder perhaps causing this problem? Where they've got, I think I know where the thing is. Okay, uh, let's try hopping, uh, camera three. Quiet here. It's not down there, is it? It's not down there. Why would it be down there? What's been happening is there's a massive swarm of these guys all activating this one camera. What do I do about that? Well, I know I can't go there now. Door control east, that opens that. Kind of want to hop back to the camera and go to Com Hub. Hang on. First of all, is there anything I can do here? Suspend. No, we want that on. It'll tell us where they are. Uh, hop, camera hub, and then snap. I guess Tress is happy just stand there for me. They don't really know what's happened to them. Uh, hop, Com Hub. Let's see if this gives me anything. No. This doesn't give me anything. Just let me cut off comms. Well, now I have no data. I have one more meat lord to summon. Oh, I'm still in control of this guy. That's why. I thought this was a limited thing. Wait, how long am I able to control him for? I thought that it was like 20 seconds before you dropped it. Oh, I can pilot them forever? Well, I'm sure that's not going to be very helpful. They, okay, so they have something called Noir as an ego. Okay, so we know there's a bunch of guys over by that zero. I'm going to go south because I think we've explored this whole place and we never found... Actually, I'm going to check what's in the middle first. Let me check something. He's at full health. What's in here? Chiplet. Worth fucking chip. I can't pick it up as this guy. Artifact. What is this thing? Tressa? Tressa? 
Tressa! Get out of there! Eat lead. Well, they've all been called into this building, which is cool. I think every single one in the whole map now. A uh, hop. Camera five. They're all in here, which means no chiplet. Which means no chiplet. I think the ping might be the camera pinging them now. Yeah, we established that. Uh, I, I, I mean, if I timed it right, I could hit them with a rocket. But I'm not really willing to chance that. Um, is there anything that would let me... I... Dude, there's something... Something's awry with that. That we haven't found the fucking server yet. I'm starting to think... Okay. That's either right there, and this was all a bunch of bullshit, or it's down here in this thing that looks like a little shed. Either way, it seems like we've called almost everything. I'm gonna revert. And I'm gonna pray to God nothing actually comes after me while I'm doing this. I'm gonna pray to God. Kill that thing. Kill that thing. Oh, it killed my thing. Hee 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 It's still expanding, bro! Cool, dude! Epic, bro! I need to set my spawn to HB1! <laughs> I need to set my spawn to you alive? No! Oh! No! Ah! 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 God! God, why is this happening? I need to set my spawn! <gasps> this place sucks! This place sucks! I was worried if I precogged that it wouldn't spawn me back at the helipad I wanted. So, uh, anyways, still don't know where the server is. I'm starting to think it's in that shed, which is protected by that creature. <laughs> which is just, that's just peachy. That's just fucking peachy. Compass says it's down, though. But that doesn't make any sense. Almost it's right there. I hate you. You're my least favorite character in the video game. Old. Old. Get them! I got crossfired. Who cares about the debt? You know what I mean, dude? Who care? Who gives a single fucking shit about the debt? No one. That's who. I'm gonna call everything to the artifact. We're artifacting. That's it. We're gonna- I'm gonna hide in this fucking helipad. We're gonna call everything to that fucking artifact. Snap. I need more data! There's always some bullshit in there. There's always some fucking bullshit.
Fuck you out of here. All right, that should be enough data. There. Okay, we hide. This is the coolest fucking shit ever, though. This game slaps. This game slaps hard, man. All right. Snap. We can go to camera five to get to the artifact, but we don't have enough, like, data to really benefit from it yet. Uh, however, if we get in there... Pop camera five. We can at least probably get... Uh, yeah, there's that chiplet. So I can't... Uh, the art, how much does the artifact cost to go to? Oh! Burr, burr. It costs none. That's not ideal. So I signal. <laughs> Milagros! Milagros! Run! Run, Milagros! Golly. That's a lot of guys. The chiplet, dude! Okay. Anyways. Snap back. Oh, fuck. Was that still more guys going over? I know. Hop. Hammer five. There's like a bunch of guys all in here. I signal again. Seems like some are dispersing. Look, none of this helps me with the immediate problem, which is the fact that I need to go into this area over here, which has like a fucking creature in it. In the back. In the backyard, there's a creature. And what are you thinking? That is a hundred percent my spot. Maybe he's gone? Maybe if I get in there really fast. I'm slowing down time. He's not here. He's right there. What even is this? This is just a lock! I don't think anything knows I got in here, though. What does this connect to? No fucking way it's been in here the whole time! Did I never check that fucking room? Wait, I'm connected to it. I don't need to go in there now. I'm connected to it. <gasps> oh. Square up then, motherfuckers. I see him. He can't see me. Get rid of him. Fast as possible. Get in here before he sees me. He did not see me. Hop. Lock two. Unlock. Hop. Shareholder. 
server. Fuck. Griff. There's a second fuck. There's three locks. God. <laughs> God. What's up? Want to know how, how you doing today? Because I'm having a bad one. I'm having a pretty bad one, God. And to be TBH, God, really just not having a good time. Not yet. I can't hop to the shareholder server, I don't think. Because uh, it's locked. You have to unlock the other parts. Fuck out of here. Good news is, if I just clear the perimeter of this place, I might be able to just, like, get the doors I need open without dealing with the other, like, facility. Because we have the meat, guys. So I'm thinking now I just escalate hard with meat boys. Let me get what I need. That guy was just taking a shower! God. God? God? Yeah. I'm kind of freaking losing my mind. And I need to get in here to get the chiplet. Why don't I just play like a psycho? What do I fucking care? Summon the meat. Whoa! Whoa! You better make sure you don't miss. <laughs> I need the chiplet, bro. Like, guys, let me win. Come on. Come on, guys, let me win. Yeah. Let me win. Let the guy win. Come on, idiots, let him win. Let him. He's lost all patience. No, I just wanted to see if I could actually like pull off running through everyone like that. Need to... There is one other thing I'm curious about. It's these buildings down here. As long as I only fight one of those guys at a time, I can take him. Unless they make me panic. But there's got to be a reason for this down here. This is such a weird thing. <gasps> you know, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say that last time. Okay. Last time, when I summoned with the artifact, these creatures. <gasps> ah! Hey! Cool it. I'm just going to get... Oh, fuck. Thank God this melee weapon's actually good. Have I lost that guy? Okay, so that place sucks. The south? Bad. But I do have three data now. Ah! Ah! Dude, attack like the guys in this building. I'm gonna hide in this corner. This is totally safe. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <gasps> oh. Oh! Oh! Get out of there, man! Oh, fuck! Shut! The meat man! The meat man! Get mom! Get mom, it's bad! Get mom! 
Have I lost him? Is it officially someone else's problem? I saw his little fucking wiggle. I saw it. I saw it. I'm hiding inside the helipad again. Thank you. Hang on. Snap. Oh, that's just the sound of my guy opening his fucking laptop. Okay, we're okay. Hop. Camera hub. It's time to do my thing. It's time to do my thing. Hop. Camera five. We're not actually okay. Going to touch the artifact. I'm just getting it on the map. I don't want to touch the artifact. Overlord, shut the fuck up. Okay? We need to work together in these trying times. He compromised my position! You know what? Fucking send them then. You're not the only guy with freaks on your side. Go ahead, send your guys. You should have brought more people. Now guys, stay in here. We don't want to go out there. All right, I need to get to turret up. I need to hop to turret up. All my data. The fuck was that bomb? I can't tell if one of these guys is friendly or evil. Get off my friend. Oh fuck. Get him. Yeah! Return the fucking favor. Alright, we're officially in control. Snap. Okay. We need to be able to get in that building. I don't have enough energy to, to, to suspend all the turrets so I can get in and get the chiplet. But I know what I can do. And that's be really confident about how fast I... Wait, that turret's fucking dead. We're in. We're in! Let him come right up to us. Fucking own. This thing goes around corners, idiot. I'm so tired of my guy killing me. You know what I mean? I'm just really tired of him killing me. Anyone else? Okay, let the debt rise. Him? Toxic. <laughs> him? Not feeling it. I'm tired of getting shot in the back. He's just watching your six. I need someone to be there for me, you know, without this level of toxicity. To be frank, I need... I need... I need someone to be there for me the same way these fucking scary boys are here for me. Fucking go ahead. Call the fucking cops. Jackass. Idiot. They're like busy eating soda. I wish I had more health than one. I wish I had more health than one. You know what I mean? Fuck out of here. Oh, that guy's weapon sucks. He didn't look at the... Oh, here it is. The big double. Ha! Yo, get crossfired, you fucking moron. You fool. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we fucking do it around these parts.
Fuck off, man. All right. Doors are my best friend. With doors, we can do so much for this world. Here's my plan. That's not me. They're not after me. They're after someone else. These guys are all dead. All or nothing. He's got the fucking bad gun for this. Oh, fuck. To oh! lose that, baby! Five dead. I gotta break in. It's time. Most of the guys that are gonna come after me have already died. Fuck out of here. Check your corners. All right, I'm in comm hub and camera hub. It's time to get a little fucking silly. It's time to get a little silly. You can throw that through walls, dude. I did not know you could throw this thing through walls. Well, the turret won that fight. Found you, you son of a bitch. Oh, there was another. Got him. I gotta kite this guy. Wait, no, I don't. He's right there. Hop to base station. Fast you can. Yeah. No one patrols in here. And through base station, I have access to office station, which gives me access to the other entire building. I think we need to deactivate Overlord. We kind of need to. Because we can't really handle him debuffing me on top of everything else happening on this fucking map. Okay. Sam, I can't, like, break comm station with a melee attack. Dude, I really hate that I can still hear this fucking thing happening. Turret is now officially dead. God damn it. It's okay, though. That they're, they're not gonna come in the building. Chad, it's okay. They're, they're not gonna come in the building. Hey. You- Oh, fuck! They actually came in the building! They really did! Those fuckers really did! I gotta summon the boy. I have to summon the boy. I have to. Did you get him? Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to cover that fucking hallway, man. They never stay, dude. I want them to stay. I need the chiplet. It's all that's ever mattered. I got it, baby. Next. Turrets. And refill my slug. Chiplet obtained. Hop. Turret hub. 
I need one more data to befriend them all. But that's doable. Because we're about to peek the artifact. We're gonna get a peek on the artifact. Alright, observed. Befriend. I may have done this too soon. Because last time this happened, a billion of those guys poured in here. We need to go out this side now. Okay. None of that concerns me. <laughs> None of that concerns me. Now? Snap. Who the fuck is Dublin? Oh, that's my friend. That was my guy. I think. I actually fucked up. I needed to be on base station so I could actually get into the fucking building. But I beefed it. But I beefed it. I beefed it bad. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's, that's just you. That's just, you're my actual friend. Okay. Oh, fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Do I just put this guy down? I'm not gonna be able to sneak into the last lock like this. I have to kill him. Okay, well we also now know they're incredibly tanky. Not chat, we can't have him around anymore. He's gonna kill me. We only wanted him to defend me for that one instance. I need to peek in, okay, just long enough to hop to Overlord. Alright, we're getting the fuck back out of here. I like how this game is scared Tomato more than any horror game. Yeah. Yeah. Hop. Base station. Okay, now we're gonna hop. Office station. We're gonna snap. Everyone here is already dead. I'm gonna hop to the side door and snap. They're all dead. Everyone is dead. Hop. Slug needle two. Snap. I can't get any view on anyone in here. The entire place is fucking compromised by creatures. How is it that I managed to hop to Slug Needle, but I can't hop back to Side Door? How is it that that's even fucking possible? <sighs> God. I have an idea. I have an idea, but if it doesn't work, we're fucked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the artifact. I'm gonna do the artifact. May God have mercy on our souls. May God have mercy. Okay. So at this point, it's fair to say then I'm gonna hop to camera three. Oh my god. Is that more of them than usual? I'm gonna suspend the camera ping just so I don't have to fucking listen. That's more than usual, man. Alright. 
Snap back. Gamer time. There's still gonna be guys over here. I don't have much data. I'm gonna sweep the front of the building. Really carefully. This one's alive. Or just didn't notice me. I'm gonna do a very careful sweep here. Beep, 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 boop, beep, boop, beep. Not even sure if there was really any reason for me to uh, disable that thing, considering the sound hasn't stopped. I mean, it seems to have cleared out a good bit. There's still probably one here. Nope, that one's gone. We know there's one in this building. This room's gonna have one. We're just gonna have to deal with it. It's also gone. We have a toilet here. Fortunately, it doesn't cost anything to unlock. You just have to get to it. That's one. I guess I'll do shed next, even though if, if one of them's gonna kill me, it's gonna be the shed one. Because I don't think it calls that guy. I can't see him. No, I can. Fuck, this part sucks. Ha! Go! 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 <gasps> we know where the last one is. It's in the garage. There could be one fucking mouth guy still in there. I'm not gonna summon a meat lord for it. I'm just gonna try to do it myself. Last one. I think if I hop shareholder server, yeah, last lock is right there. Either way, we have to get into this room. So we might as well go in the front. That guy died doing this. Nothing in there. That one also died. Okay, get the fuck out of here. We're gonna go to the helipad before we extract, just in case something insane happens. That level was wild, but I lived, bitch. I lived. Well done on your last assignment. I'm proud of you for braving it out. I'll have to check on my end, so it might be a while before I have a new mission for you. Make sure to rest up. I have another job for you. A squad from a rival company is holding a strategic location. Take care of it. Suspicious emails have appeared in agent inboxes. If you receive an email from anyone other than the automatic messaging system at address ams114.inf at yyd inc, you have an obligation to ignore it. Responding to emails from sources other than the automatic messaging service can compromise your personal security and the security of this network as a whole. Wait a minute. But every email I've been getting is from someone that ain't you. Hold up. Never a single one of them has been from someone that ain't you. Hang on a second here. Uh, oops. 
Not my pro- sounds like a load of not my fucking problem. More like, how's my debt? <laughs> a cool 29 million dollars. Maybe if we go to sleep when I wake up in the morning, it'll be better. Nope. Oh. Hey, Hunts, this is awkward. Turns out I do have a mission for you. Some scammers are sending out fake emails using the automatic messaging system. Looks like they're trying to fool poor sweet agents like you, Shrug. Please head down there and spike us in ASAP. Huh. Maybe I'm really not in debt. All right, chat. That's enough for this game for tonight. This was a lot of fun though, but I kind of want to end on the high of that last level because that was a very fun level. That was a very cool, cool little thing. That's a uh, Deadeye Deepfake Simulacrum. Not exactly a great game name, but accurate. Accurate, really cool game. Definitely lands in that same kind of like weird Territory is like uh, Cruelty Squad, which obviously very cool, very cool. Not a great game name, but a name of a great game. True. True, man. True. When you write, you write. Anyways, I'll be back tomorrow at the usual time. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, I think I'm doing Variety Horror. I think we're gonna do some variety horror tomorrow. Uh, should be a good time. Should be a good time. And then Thursday, usual stream leading into D&D. &D. Friday, I'm taking off entirely. Uh, and then Saturday, I'll be doing something instead. So, packed week, lots of stuff going on. Aside from Friday, which in the grand scheme, Friday is usually the short stream day anyways. So, uh, not losing out on that much there. But yeah, I'm done. Very cool game. Very fun time. I'm glad I have the opportunity to play games like this every once in a while. Because uh, I think this is one that definitely worth showing people. And shockingly active. I, I, this was like, usually in those hacking games, it's not really as much of a timer as you think there is. This is like a typing game where you gotta actually fucking move. Sometimes I had like a window of like a half second before I whiffed my entire chance. I do think the debt system is totally a goof, and that's why when people are like, you gotta pay your debt. I'm like, no, I fucking definitely do not. Uh, it's a story. It's a story thing. It definitely doesn't, I don't think it's like got a mechanical purpose. I think it's a goof for the story, because you, there's no, you'd have to perfect the whole game to pay off that debt. The whole game. I've never earned enough money to even make a dent. So I bet the story does it, but it's also early access. This is an early access game. It's not <laughs> shockingly. This is what a good early access game looks like. This game is not done. Uh, this is actually unfinished. This came out on early access a month ago. Uh, so they've got a lot of time. Uh, they got a lot of time, but I think the whole main story is done apparently, but yeah. Very cool, very cool. And looking at how their trajectory for early access is, it looks a lot like the same like trajectory Cruelty Squad had, which is like, yeah, the end of the game's in, we're just like gonna add like a ton of extra bullshit instead. Which I think is such a good way to do early access is to already have the games start to finish be complete and just fucking slam out optional crap and iterate. God, I love that shit. Anyways, I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching, chat. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for gifting subs, donating if you did. I appreciate it as always. See you later.